Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Good morning, good morning. I don't know what's going on with my hair this morning. Please don't comment. Right, got a load. Be quiet. Hannah, be quiet. Hannah's, Hannah's in a strange mood this morning, everybody. Because um, Emma was trying to make coffee in the kitchen and, and Hannah was like this. Like this, talking to her like that. And I could see Emma like backing away like this going, do you not want sugar in your coffee? And she's like... She wants to be close as all. But we'll do, we'll do us... That, that, what's that? Social distancing. Anyway, should we do the early bird? Today's early bird, tweet, 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 tweet. Now, again, like yesterday's, this sells, this sells really well. We don't have to take money off it, but it sells really, really well. But you'll need this for your first project, for today's first project with Rebecca Reed. Uh, oh, Amber Makes, sorry, Amber Makes it is. Rebecca Reed is the demonstrator. It's right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, she's there, waiting to come on. Anyway, 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 uh, you're getting a pound off. So if you put this in your basket, you'll pay 5 99 today. You need to check out straight away. You can multi-buy. 
And once you've checked out, that's your PMP done for for the day. So if you come in and buy anything else whatsoever, that's your PMP paid for all day long. I don't know, even if you go to the uh, Yarn Lane website, buy something off there. If you didn't get one of uh, Sam Sabido's um, things yesterday, those bags were adorable, weren't they? Anyway, five ninety nine for your, you get a glue in there and you get a glue in there, spare glue in there. If you don't know what it is, it's a glue pen. It's a bit like a print stick, print stick, print stick, but it's made for fabric. It's made for fabric. And when I was doing my training, I think you never put glue anywhere near a costume, anywhere near fabric, right? Now it's been developed. So you're doing EPP, putting a zip in, use it for anything like that. FPP, beginning of FPP, put a bit of glue in. Susie Duncan used it for every bit of her FPP last week, didn't she? Five ninety nine. this is. You're saving a pound. Now I know you're thinking, oh, it's only a pound. You look after the pounds and the pennies take care of themselves. That didn't sound right. Not sure about that one. Anyway, it's a pound off. It's a pound off. So while you're checking out, let's see who's checking into this morning. Julie says good morning. Anne says good morning. Lovely to see you. Sue says good morning. Marine is watching. Bon dia, says Marcia. Uh, Marcia says, what a happy shirt. Thank you, Marcia. It is a bit tight. I think I've shrunk it in the wash. Or I've put weight on. Anyway, Becky Alexander Frost says good morning, John and team. She'll be wide awake because she slept when she got home last night. I know. She was exhausted. Uh, morning, John and team. Now, Michaela, Michaela. I think it's Michaela, isn't it? Michaela. Morning, John and team, she says. How are you all this morning? Uh, make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. It's not yours till you check out, member. Ian says good morning. Love that shirt. Thank you, Ian. That's not Ian who works here. He won't be awake yet. No, it's only what time? Ten past, five past eight? No. He won't be awake. He won't do the school run. Denise says, morning. What a lovely morning. Denise, Denise, where are you? Because here, it was a lovely morning. It's gone very grey. It's gone very grey here suddenly. It was beautiful driving in. The what, what? Oh, maybe there's a storm coming and that's why Hannah's acting more weird than usual. Oh, and my left ear's whistling what's that mean left for love somebody said think of a number rebecca reed 13. 13 a b c d e f g h i j k l m somebody with the name who starts with m is saying something lovely about me uh laurie says good morning nice and rosy and says good morning you're looking fabulous thank you it's the hair isn't it oh denise is in gateshead it's lovely in gateshead judith says good morning jenny says good morning how are you all Five ninety nine. This is keep going through. Keep going through for this. Claire says morning. John and all gorgeous shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep going through for this at five ninety nine. I know it's a glue pen with an added glue. Uh, you get a free glue stick in there, don't you? A refill. It's very easy to use. Five ninety nine. Shilla says good morning, John. Yes, blame it. Blame it on the washing machine. Sorry, you put a little weight on. Um, excuse me, I haven't put any, <laughs> I haven't put any weight on, Chilla. Uh, yes, it's Michaela. Loving your shirt. It's beautiful and sunny here in the Forest of Dean. Oh, how lovely. It's a lovely place to be. Uh, Claire makes things. John, my husband claims I shrink his clothes. I don't think so. Lo says, morning from a glorious Devon off to West Bay. It sounds lovely, doesn't it? 5.99. Right, now, Panel of the Week has sold out. Panel of the Week has sold out. I haven't got to Panel of the Week. So, I'm going to tell you about this. I'm going to tell you about this first, and then I'm going to tell you what Hannah's... Hannah's decided... Now, um, we better warn Emma. Emma, have you got a new one of those? You know, Panel of the Week has the sunrise. We'll need a new one of those today. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Morning, says Leslie. A rose by any other name should sell so sweet. Right. <coughs> Everybody who buys today, your name will go in a hat. And at some point during the show tomorrow, I'll announce your name. And if you're that person, you will win this, right? So you will win this panel. Hmm? Oh, got a slide. I won't get it all out. There you go. Got a slide. So you'll win the panel. You'll win some seams hand cream. You'll win some seams and nail oil. You will win that little pouch of seams, which comes with a nail file, the sanitizer and the mask. And you'll also get some quilting gloves. Somebody will win that. Now, later on today, I will announce... Have you got someone else in there? Oh, Elliot, shush. Uh, 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 it's lovely to see you, but shush. Um, it's, uh, we'll announce yesterday's winner later on today during the show. Okay. 
right, okay. Now, 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 are you ready? Are you ready? So, uh, we've got this every hour, but I'll tell you what it is in a minute, right? So, um, we have the early bird, tweet, tweet that Elliot made. The panel of the week sold out, so you won't be seeing the sunrise. So now, I've got pre-cut of the hour. That worked. Right, we haven't, asked man we haven't asked management to do this. Hannah's just decided to do it. So, at the, during each hour, at the beginning of each hour, so at the 9 o'clock, uh, what time is it? 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, they're not on pre-order. What it is, it's a, a, a pre-cut that Hannah has chosen for you. Now, it's either last of stock and you won't see it again, or completely, utterly brand new. She hasn't asked anybody to do it. She's just going to do it, right? So, uh, I'll go backwards. I'll go backwards. So, 12 o'clock... 12 o'clock, at the start of the 12 o'clock hour, there's this one. Right? No, 12 o'clock's this one. Oh, sorry, it's in the wrong order again. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. Then I checked it with you, and we, and we went, yes, that's right. That's right. No, it's my bad, my bad. Then, uh, yes. Pre-cut of the hour. This is 12 o'clock. Not on pre-order. Brand new, this is. Brand spanking new, this one. Brand spanking is gorgeous. It's a lovely little design roll. That's at 12 o'clock, sorry. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got this one here. This so that is brand, that's brand new. This is last of stock. That's at 11 o'clock. Dan Morris, Fat Quarter Bundle. That's at it, dead on 11 o'clock. 10 o'clock is Hannah's favourite. Leopard prints. Look, these are not on pre-order. <coughs> you have to be here at 10 o'clock to get that one. Brand spanking new today. That's lovely, isn't it? Then at 9 o'clock, also brand new. You may have seen this fabric before, but you've not seen it in a five-inch charm pack. Sunday stroll. Moda five-inch charm pack. 9 o'clock. So what's the 8 o'clock one you're saying? Well, I love this. This is end of stock. We won't get this again. This is a fat quarter bundle. It's called uh, confe Geofetti. And you had confetti and geo in it, but I couldn't figure out how. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fat quarters. When it's gone, it's gone. 26 pounds and 49 pence. You'll have seen Susie Duncan making a quilt with those fabrics, but they are just exquisite, aren't they? So you get a fat quarter of each of these, look. Yeah, now, now these fabrics aren't available. Not all of them aren't available by the half metre. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. Single figures already. Love it, love it, love it. Look. Now, Hannah's not checked with the management that she's allowed to do this, but we're doing it anyway. There we go. Oh, it's about to sell out. That's how quick it's going to go. That's about to sell out. There are two left, two left, two left, two left. Geofetti, fat water pack, seven pieces, and it's sold out. Thank you, Rebecca Reed. Oh, well caught. Right. <laughs> there will be the special at nine o'clock, which is the Moda, which is the Moda. Right, I'm just going to tidy up now because Rebecca Reed's got to go. Let's have a look at today's menu, shall we, while we're waiting. Oh, I know something I didn't do, but never mind. Um, now, here's today's menu. Amber makes uh, hexi cushions with Rebecca Reed. We've got two of these. It's a panel. Oh, look, that's it in situ. That's nice. Is that in the car park, Emma, then? That? Now, where did you get that chair from? It's a bit of a manky old chair, isn't it? Oh, I've just walked into the shelf. <laughs> that's karma. That is saying things like that. Anyway, that's nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Uh, it's pre-cuts. Oh, you know I said I'd seen the thing with all the bobbins in. I found it for you, there. it's here. Um, so I've got pre-cuts, loads of gorgeous pre-cuts. Some new, some you've seen before. Uh, then at 10 o'clock, we've got more Amber Makes, exclamation mark. Now, has Amber Makes got an exclamation mark after no. it then? So that that's Coast. It, no, it did on the menu. It hasn't in real life. That's what we're saying. I'm just wiping the table for Rebecca Reed. If you're wondering why I'm making funny breathing noises. I've done now. You can sit down. Oh, and there we go. That's th there they are. Is that in your house, Rebecca Reed? Um, no. Where were they taken then? 
Oh, it's actually Maybe a computer generated them. one. Yeah, I think it, I think I might have taken them originally. Okay. And then I realised how bad I am at photography and Amy takes them now. Oh, okay then. Okay, now at eleven o'clock got oh got quilting rulers at eleven o'clock. I can't remember seeing any of those. Plus tools at eleven o'clock, and then at twelve o'clock, fabric bundles under fifteen pounds. So now is everything on pre-order then? Say that again, sorry. Okay, okay, that's fine. So, so we'll show we'll show you in a minute. So there are three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email, uh, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is on the Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out, and I'll do a few more messages now. We love it when Hannah goes rogue. <laughs> uh, Claire says, can I buy that panel? With the panel, the, the, the prize. I don't know if you can. You'll have to go and look on, um, you'll have to go and look on the website, I think. Um, Becky says, laughing so much at John's curtains. Patricia says, morning, John. Love to see you with Becky yesterday. Isabel says, good morning on this sunny morning. See, everyone's got the sun. We haven't. Uh, Jill says, morning. Just have half an hour to watch before going to my granddaughter's school show. Oh, lovely. It's the end of term show. That'd be lovely. Right, OK. Uh, and the third way is go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Sorry about the noise in the background. <laughs> Rebecca Reed has no realisation that we're live on air, mind you. <laughs> Click on watch the show live. Then you'll see a box to the right hand side there that says send message to studio. Hello, I'm... I'm hanging. <laughs> I'm Hannah. Oh, hang on. Hansa, Hannah. She, that's ha she's spelling herself. So click on send message. It comes through. That's a white box comes under the screen. Scroll down the page. Now you'll see there. Uh, oh, there's. Oh, sold out. Sold out. Sold out. There's the early bird. Uh, still available. Five ninety nine pound off. You can still get that. And I've also got the refills in this hour as well. If you want the refills. Everything else is on pre-order for the next five hours on pre-order, apart from the specials at the top of each hour. So there's uh, all the um, stuff from this hour. No, Amber makes fatter quarters there. Then we've got the pre-cuts hour. Lovely, some gorgeous things in there, look. And the books to go with the fat quarters and all the pre-cuts. That's nine o'clock. Keep going, keep going. Oh, Care Bear. I thought they'd sold out. Care Bear. What's that one? Hang on. Teddy's Great Adventure Panel. Oh, look. Looks like little Paul. And there's Paul on his adventures. There's no football, though. I, I see. Oh, yeah, that one's Munch, actually. Our friend Munch, because he's on the skate. Uh, uh, anyway. Moving on. Panels, panels, panels. Now, that, that's a little bit misleading, because that, pa that panel is huge. The Hoffman Leopard panel is huge. And the Highland Care is actually quite small. Just, just so it's not done in proportion, then. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's the other uh, Amber Makes, the bag. Now, you may have seen the Busy Bee Monk bag kit before, but you've not seen it in the Hexes. That's brand new today, brand new today. All on pre-order. Look, you can buy them now if you can't stick around till 11, uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, here's the rulers. Oh, I didn't see those. Okay, there you go. Oh, the June Taylor Charming Circles is back in stock, look. Oh, and, that, and the cutting mat as well. Oh, that's going to be a lovely hour, that one. Double wedding ring there, wedding band. Lots and lots and lots. Oh, and there's Village, uh, some, uh, um, Yvonne Makatamni in there. She's not in there, but you know. Oh, there they are, lovely. And then, now these, everything in the last hour, everything is under £15. Some say under £15, the pride title, some don't. Some might say brand new when they're not as well. Yes, there's a, oh, there's a little one on its own. Oh, right, that's a bundle because you're getting two metres of it. Not, because some of the bundles are amounts of rather than lots of different fabrics. There's loads, there's loads. We were here for hours yesterday unpacking all of those. Yeah, Hannah's, Hannah's put an awful lot in there. Oh, hang on, sold out already. Look, sold out on already there. Okay, right, very quickly, I'll just, loads of messages have just come through. I'll do those and I'll get on with the hour. Morning, gorgeous, says June. Bernie says, morning, John, all very dull in Merseyside. Margaret says, good morning, John, Hannah, Emma and Elliot, loving the shirt. 
Looks like a wonderful day of shopping coming up. Patch says good morning. Looking good as always. Helen says morning, John. Sun has just come out in Hereford. Lynn Tewitt says good morning, John. Rebecca and crew. Mum is staying with me. It's her birthday, so I won't be able to watch for long. Well, no, you don't want to put her in front of the telly on her birthday, do you? Good morning, John. It's a lovely sunny day, says Cousin Susan. Lowe says, please say hi to my lovely friend Jane Newbold Burbeck. Oh, she sounds posh, doesn't she? And Claire makes things. Where do I find pre-order, John? I'm going figure skating. I just showed you. Right, so you go to the website, watch the show live, go onto the pre-order, and it's, everything's there. Everything's under there. You won't find the panel in pre-order, Claire. You have to go to the website to see if it's for, the, for that. Right. So, Rebecca, there it is. Rebecca Reed says today. Now, let me show you what we're doing to start with. We're doing these two cushions. There you go. These two cushions. They are EPP cushions, those. EPP. So, what we've done is, yep. So, let me show you. You get the instructions. You get 100 little um, hexi uh, templates, uh, papers. And then, you get this brand spanking new panel, right? Look at this, right? Everything's ready to go. You just cut your hexes out and you put them, put your cardboards in, your papers in. But you don't just get that. This is the back of the cushion. Oh, I've got it upside down. I do apologise. That's the back of the cushion. And then these are just spare bits of fabric here. And Rebecca Reed's going to show you what you can do with those later. Plus, you get labels. I'm not quite sure what the blue stripes are for. Hang on. Borders. Oh, borders. Very fine borders, aren't they? Yes, to help, help with zip insertion. Oh, OK, because I can't see them. No, they sort of disappear. Disappear. They're there for neatness. There's and there you go. So you get, oh, uh, uh, what are these here? Half, half cardboard. Half ones. Part hexes. Part hexes, half hexes. They're the same size. Oh, that's a bit misleading. They look bigger, don't they? Yeah, it's because oh, they've the all got the seam allowance. Side, they, yeah, they've all got the seam allowance. So you get all of that, all of that, all of that for £24.99. pence. Brand spanking new today. Exclusive at the moment. Saying sweet. Mm. It's an Amber Makes for Sewing Street. Rebecca Reed is obviously one half of Amber Makes. And the other half, the talented half, was in yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that one. That's that one. The other one is this one. Now, I know we're not allowed favourites. This is my favourite one. So again, you get the instructions. You get the hexes. I'll try and get this one. Right. Loads this one gone into baskets. I've done it again. Oh, no, I've got the right way up the time. Right way up the time. So that's your back of your cushion. There are your spare bits there. And then these are all the hexes you need to make the front of the cushion. Geraldine says, so no, John, glad to go watch Dave. You had your ears lowered. Uh, I had my hair cut yesterday. You were not in Gerard? Yesterday, Geraldine. Jackie says, morning, John. It's very grey on Wirral. Uh, did you see Jackie's... Um, quilt that she put up on Facebook that, or the fan page just there. It's amazing. Right. Okay, so that's that one. Loads of those in baskets. Loads of those in baskets. Now, when Rebecca Reed was here a few months ago, she did a project. It was, in fact, I think it was the mug rug, wasn't it? And people say, oh, it's such a shame you don't do the fabrics to go with. Yes. So they've now decided to do. Now, the panels are normally called fat quarters, but because they're so huge, Amber Makes have decided to call them fatter quarters. So it's what you get to be is fatter, if you... fatter, isn't it? Hmm? It's always good to be fatter. It is always good to be fatter. <laughs> Look, these are huge, right? Brand banking you today, exclusive to Sewing Street. So look at the size of them here. These are nothing to do with the, with the project. You don't need these at all. Oh, do you know what I'd do, though? What? So what I would do is I'd do my hexes, and then I'd use one of these as my backing. Mm. Then I'd use the backing from the cushion. Yes. And then use one of these mm. as the backing for that. Yeah. And then you could use the other two for another cushion. Yeah, all matching. So look at the print. You get this print, first of all, which is the blue um, flower print. What well, is it? Flowers? Zigzaggy flowers? Art Nouveau flowers? Mm. Then, then there's this one here. This is Hannah's favourite. Uh, Low says they're called lockdown quarters. <laughs> yeah. lockdown Beautiful, quarters. aren't they? Then look at this now. How many projects are you going to be able to use that on? Basket weave. 
Lynn says, good morning, loving the shirt. Syl says, morning, lovely, just off to work, dazzling in East London. Oh, Alison Marion's watching, hope it's all okay. She had her thingy done yesterday, Alison Marion. Did she? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Anyway, and then the other panel, is this the other part of the panel, is this? Pretty, isn't it? Pretty. Right, that's only one of them. I'll... Oh, and you get the extras on the top there, look. So you go, oh, look. You could use the plique. And then these here. Right, now look. These are limited numbers already on these, right? Yeah, now, we've not been very clever there because we did that on the last one. <laughs> you need to think of another oh, sarky yeah. comment now. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, all of that, all of that for your 19 99 Say thank you lots or hope you appreciate this. Do what, what? Maybe it should say, like, hope you appreciate this. Yes, exactly. Yeah, appreciate this. Right, then I've got the other one, which is the blue one. I'm trying to go with the blue cushion. It's blue china, this one's called. Uh, these have been so popular on pre-order already, they're limited already. Look. Oh, look, so that's one. So what do these measure? 70 centimetres by 50 centimetres. Where's it finished there? There you go. It's lovely. So there's that pattern. The beautiful. They would be nice with white, wouldn't they? Uh, then you got this one. Beautiful. There is a, it's, it's got a funky paisley feel to it, hasn't it? And then that one there. So that one's the same as that one, but in different colourway. And that's that one, the same in that one, different colourway. Be careful if you want those. Okay, fewer than 30 of this one left already. Right, shall we do some demonstrating? Yeah, let's. Rebecca Reed, no, she's very nervous, she's not used to be on telly. No, I'm really nervous. She uh, was early, she arrived early this morning, which is a miracle. <laughs> <really. laughs> 6.52. And um, good morning. Rebecca good morning, How good are morning, you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Good. Go on then, make it. Um, go on, make it. Right, first, I've got, I have panels with me. So, uh, why, so tell me, why, why, where's, the, where's this come from, the EPP? Uh, why did you suddenly decide to do an EPP? Right, well, I love EPP. Yeah. I'm an EPP fan. And um, I, don't, I don't like when you waste a lot of fabric, because I like fussy cutting EPP. I like to have my little bits. Yeah. And you end up wasting a bit of fabric. And also, I really admire those people when they fussy cut fabric and then they get it to join together and you can use a mirror, can't you, to get it all to... And I, I think that's quite clever, yeah. but quite hard to achieve. So you've done that for so us? So we've done that for them. So what we did to start with is um, Amy created the picture. We, oh, we honestly, we had so many baskets and they, all, they kept looking all like the wrong shape all the time. Eventually came up with this one. Uh -huh. um, so we crea she created the design, so this is the design, and then separated it all. Perfect. But separated it so it's in order, so you can see what it, you can actually see what oh, it looks so it's like. Oh, so it's in order, it's so you can't all, go wrong? No. And the good thing, well, you could go wrong if you don't follow it, but the good thing, <laughs> I'm saying laughing nothing. Give, you know, let's do a close-up of that cushion on the shelf, please. Because one of mine is wrong. And I can't believe I made the whole thing. The what? The whole cushion and didn't even notice. No, um, no. I noticed straight away. Nobody else Did noticed. I, and okay, Emma's coming in now. Can you see the design feature? Yeah, not the mistake. Yeah, the yeah, design feature on this when cushion. You go wrong. And I can't see it still. Mm. And I had, I sat next, I'd taken a photo of it. I had my phone next to me on the sofa. So yeah. I was checking every single oh. one. Anyway, that's... I think it's quite nice. It's the slight imperfection because I turn around one well, round. But, so you can either... There's two ways of doing this. Before you start, what I did was I labelled them all. Right, labelled? I labelled them. So I, it just made it a little bit easier. So I, I used a heat erasable pen and I drew in the middle of each one. So oh, OK. In rows. So what I did was, like, this was row A and I put A1, A2, A3, A4 and labelled them all the way across. Do you really need to label all those? Well, Are they all in the same direction, the pale blue ones? Um, it's not the direction, it's the order of the okay. rows, so you oh, know what right. row. But okay. it's just, the, so you can label them all. I did that, but then what I did was I cut them out sort of two or three rows at a time, assembled them and sewed them together and then cut out another few. But... On the other, where you've got the cushion back, that is exactly the oh, order. Oh, so you could do it like a jigsaw. So you could actually just vaguely label them yeah. and then just have that next to you and just copy it. Okay. So it's, it's up to you. I found it easier to label each row and work on a few rows at, at the time. Also, I didn't really want to assemble all my hexes and then sew them all together. I was a bit impatient. Right. I wanted to see what they looked like. Yeah. 
So this, you use this as a reference guide that, and then you use it for the cushion back. Now the reason it has this trim around the edge is when you've sewn it all together, the little quarter of an inch seams that you've turned over are a little bit unstable. Right. And, and therefore, if you sew a board around the edge of just half an inch, you can use that to stabilise it. And for right, so that's why in. there's the thin blue lines on the other. Yeah, so when you make it up, so the border is printed onto the back and then the strips for it are printed onto here. Oh. Oh, they're on yours, they're not on mine. What do you I've, mean? They should be on your panel, they're not on my panel. Oh, you've got the sample before yeah, we start. Yeah, I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're on you should have your There they are. They're on yours. Yeah, they're on yours. Yeah. There they I've are. just got the original one where I haven't yeah. got the borders on, but you will have them. And then you sew those onto afterwards. It sort of stabilises it. And I hate putting a zip into a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Just hate it. I don't know. It always falls out. So I prefer Can to. Can you put show us where it is on the cushion, Hannah says? On there? Yeah. Oh, Alison said she wouldn't have noticed. Alison Marion said she wouldn't have noticed. What, Princess the says, take a picture of the panel before cutting it out. Donna says, good morning, Rebecca. Good uh, morning. And uh, Kate says, you are a welcome distraction this morning because my daughter Amy is in hospital about to give birth to her first baby, <gasps> Kate in North Nine. Oh, how exciting. I know, so go quickly before the baby gets here. <laughs> Where are those blue things then? So round the edges, you can just about oh, see the yes, blue yes, strips, yes, yes, yes. but it just, it oh, gives hang it a on, little just frame. Turn it up to the camera, so... So I'll show there you, you there. So you can just about see them here, but it just makes it putting the zip in easier and yeah. stabilises it all when you sew it together because these edges are a bit, they've been sewn and turned and it's easier to assemble it if you have the blue strips. Yeah. So that's the point of them. Um, so that's what you need to start. So what you need, you just need to decide how you're going to do it. Are you going to cut them all out and then assemble, and then stick them to the paper or are you going to do a few rows at a time just take a photo i took a photo right and i had it on my phone next to me on the sofa right and that's how, how i did it how big are these three quarter inch hexes yes. how many of those do we get well you get a hundred in the pack right you need more than that but right. that's fine because you can reuse them okay so we'll talk as we're doing it because mm. you don't want to take any out that aren't secured no, yeah we'll talk too. yes yeah. we'll talk through that yeah so you get enough to do it and i used a pack of a hundred and i just kept reusing them because it it was just easy. Okay, people who are new to this, what's EPP stand for? So EPP is English Paper Piecing, and obviously it's something that's really popular in America, but comes from England originally. Right. Um, so I'm going to start right from the beginning okay. for people who have never done it before, because it's one of those things that you might have done when you're younger. I did. It was, you know, you got bits of old curtains mm. in you and sewed them together and then used a bit of card to do it. But things have moved on since then. People have got got into the whole fussy cutting and creating patterns and I haven't seen an EPP that's actually a picture before. Right. I've only seen them where they've created sort of flowers or patterns so I wanted to try what happened if you did that and also that's why we've gone for three quarter of an inch hexes because we could have more. Yeah perfect. Don't want a massive cushion mm -hmm. but if with one inches you got less and you know the, the process whether you've got a one inch or a three quarter of an inch it's not like using a half inch it, that's one step even lower that's really small. Mm -hmm. So once you've cut them out and you've decided how you're going to do it and how you label it and all of those options are in the instructions of what we've talked about right. so you'd have to remember that. Then you've then got to make another decision are you going to glue or glue or tack? Right. So in originally, people always, and I did, used to tack them around the edge. Right. Always. But now gluing. Gluing is so okay, much Okay, I'm quicker. going to ask a question straight away, because mm. if I'd got that home, I would have cut those hexes out on the line. Yes, you would do. It's just I cut oh, them Oh, okay, okay. No, no, that's yeah, now once you've decided how you're going to do it, cut them out on the lines, whether you've labelled them or you've taken a picture. Right. It's Sorry. just because I wanted them there and I was going to show you. Yeah. Now I found my scissors. You just I... made all that noise trying to find a pair of scissors. <laughs> no, no, no. Got them. So once you've done it, then just cut them out just yeah. along the line. It's not, you know, you do be accurate because there's a point to that line mm -hmm. because the quarter of an inch seam allowance is already on here because there's nothing worth that I hate more when it says um, add a quarter of an inch seam allowance and cut out. And you think, well, oh, I'm going to have to draw that on now. Yeah, but you and don't you, have to on yours. No, but you, can, no, you get it quite a lot in patterns, don't you? Yes, yeah. I mean, particularly for some reason, like European dress patterns, they don't put these seam allowances on them. I don't get that. I, uh, whenever I make a dress pattern, I don't put seam allowance on mine either. Why is that then? Because that's uh, just the way I was trained to do oh. it. And also because in different places you want to add, like on the back oh, of trousers, yeah, you would add more Yeah, seam you'd add more. Yeah. Okay. 
So our seam allowances are in here. Now, if you're going to glue, this is this is the, what I prefer to. I've brought my little board with me so that I don't get glue on your table. Good. Have a little board. A little cutting mat is ideal for yeah. this because then you can sit on the sofa and do it. And I, any sewing that I can do, I can sit on the sofa is a win for me. Right, okay. So take one of your paper hexes. Uh -huh. Now all the they are paper, but they're just slightly thicker. They do stick together a bit, so make sure you just yeah. got one. Um, they're just slightly thicker than normal like photocopy paper, but they're not card because if they were card, they wouldn't bend enough. And okay. then. Get they come in your kit, by the way. They come in your kit. The glue pen doesn't. Right, no, but, it was today's but it's early, early bird. bird. Put a little spot of glue in the middle and then stick it to the centre. You don't need to measure this. It's only a quarter of an inch seam allowance, so you can pretty much see that. Now, everyone does this in a slightly different way. This is the way I do it. It's not necessarily the right way, but I know a lot of you out there, if you do a lot of EPP, you'll say, oh, I do mine a different way. But glue one side. You only need a little line. You don't need loads and fold it over and then glue the opposite side. And I find that helps to stabilize it. You need to do one side at a time because if you glue all the way round, then you've got all these fabric overlaps that don't then have glue on them. So do another side and fold it over. And then another side and make sure you just, you don't need, honestly don't need very much. But if you've ever done EPP and you've tacked, look how much quicker this is. It's just easier, isn't it? Now this glue, um, won't gum up your hand needle mm -hmm. and it won't gum up your sewing machine needle and it washes out and it's bright yellow and mine's bright yellow they all seem to be different colors don't yeah, they but they dry clear don't they, they i know it's well that's why i've never understood why they're different colors no because i thought when we started different colors would have been different strengths no and then you get blue ones don't you pink ones and yellow ones so i would say if you buy one of these get some refills because when you buy one you get you get one in it and one spare yeah but you're going to get through. But you well. will use them. So that's it. Now, e the other thing is, is if you do prefer to tack, you don't want to glue, then it is really useful to just stick it in the centre anyway. Because even if you pin it, it sort of starts shifting a bit, I find. Also, it, bu it will buckle it as well, won't it, with the pin? Yes, it, it does. It just sort of... So even if you don't... Now, don't use Pritt stick because I ran out of my glue and I ordered some more. Yeah. So I use Pritt stick <laughs> until it came. Uh, other, other sticks are oh, available. Oh, yes. Do not use that, those things, that whatever the brand... I yeah. don't know what the brand name... The yeah, no, the, I don't know what the brand name Whatever they are. Because it, the paper doesn't come off very easily if you use that. No. At all. And Hannah um, knows this through experience because she did the same. And it's really hard to peel the edges off. Yeah. So there's a big section of mine that was really hard because I was too impatient to yeah. wait. So if you're going to tack, just going to show you that. What's the time? Oh, I've got a bit of time, haven't I? What are you muttering about? I was just checking the time. Yeah, don't talk when you've got a needle in your mouth. No, I've got, got th I've got thread. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. So I use, I'll talk, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Yeah. About which um, needle I use to sew with. She says, with a little needle planner. With my needle case that's labelled, obviously. Um, use, doesn't matter what colour thread you use, use some any old thread that you've got that you don't, you've got too much of that you don't need anymore because you're uh -huh. going to get rid of it all. Then, when you come to tack, fold over one edge. If you've glued, you see, it will stay. If you're not going to glue and you haven't got glue, then pin, but it does distort it a bit. I don't put a knot in. Just come to your right a little bit. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't put a knot in only because I don't like knots. So just do a couple of back stitches, but you can if you like. And then just fold this edge over. Well, I'm going to move that out of the way because it shows better, doesn't it? Okay. And put a little stitch, one side and the other side. Because all you're doing is securing it and then fold the next corner over. So going through the cardboard? Yes, yeah, through the cardboard. Oh, now paper, some sorry. people, when they do EPP, they just do a little stitch through the fabric and not into the card yeah so that's another way of doing it honestly do you know with these things don't ever think oh there's a right and a wrong way you just do whatever you prefer uh -huh. i like to sew through the card because i find it's more stable but there is a way of doing it where you just sew the corners together and not through the card and then fold it around the other side so it's really quick i mean and this is the sort of thing where you know when i said you can do prepare a few and then sew a through sew a few so you could, you know, if you're on the train, or on the bus, or in front of the telly, you can just sit there and prepare these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to take you longer this way around, though. This will it? take you longer, but you know, there's some people don't want to glue, or they don't, they don't like the glue. Oh no, no, prefer, like you say, there's no. But right, this wrong. will take you a lot longer. Yeah. 
Um, and to be honest, the glue does, the fabric does peel off and you don't have to undo all the tacking stitches afterwards. Yeah, yeah, but if you're on the train or in, on the car, if you don't want, maybe you don't want the glue pen there because you're going to have to have the glue pen, the little board. You need and, something, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so if you're doing something where you, you want to be portable. So, look, you know, you get the same effect, but you just choose now, what you do. Could you do, if you're at home and you do half of them and then mm. you're on the train and do half of them, can you do half glued and half yes. stitched? It yeah, they're the, if you mix yeah them look, they match. Them. They match the same. <coughs> okay, perfect. So that's up, that's up to you. There is no right and wrong way yep. about that. And it doesn't matter about mixing them? No. Now, the next thing is we talked, you mentioned this at the beginning, round the edge in order to square it off, you've got these part hexes. Oh, yeah. So let me, I'll show you on this panel. You can see yep. to square it off, there are side hexes which are on the sides right and there are top and bottom hexes that are on the top and bottoms and they've already got this they look massive don't they they look huge that's why i was a bit confused they, they look just huge. look really huge so i've got these separated when you come to do the um side hexes which are those there yeah those are the side hexes this is what they look like so again you need to cut out your side hexes. Now, what I did was I sewed together and assembled all the big whole hexes first. Yeah. Then I prepared and sewed in the part hexes. Up to you, you can just do it all in rows, but I did it that way. Yeah. Now you've got to cut the paper, obviously for the side, because you, this, this is too big oh, now. Oh, right, of course, yeah. So you've got to cut the paper. So I've got to remember which one you do, side ones. Right, so you have to draw a line with a pencil. Can I, have I got a... Got a friction pen. A friction pen is yeah. fine. Little um, ruler's on the... A little ruler. So I brought my little ruler mm. with me. Took me forever to dress the set this morning. <laughs> so oh, I've just realised where all our hand needles have gone, look. Oh, they're all on there. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so when you do the side ones, just take a pen and draw a line i move over a bit. There we go. From the top to the bottom. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. And not with your fabric scissors. Well. Unless there's someone else. Just under the graphics a bit there, Rebecca. She was trying to hide the fact that she was using the same, her fabric scissors. To yeah. <laughs> you don't use your fabric scissors unless there's someone else's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then it doesn't matter. So cut it in half and then you can use both of those. And then you just do exactly the same thing. So you put a bit of, I'm a, I'm a gluing mat. Because I, it's easier to, I think, to assemble your part hexes as they should be, rather than whole ones and then cut them off. Right. Um, now when you do sew this, the, at the edge that's gonna be on the outside, as you can see, is the long edge. You don't need to glue that, because that's gonna stay open. Oh, okay. So you're not going to sew that in, yeah. so you only have to glue or tack three sides. That also stops you having those great, because if you did the, folded the big one over, you'd have a lot of big dog ears. Yeah, and you, you get no ears. So there's no, there will be no like big ears, because that will be in the seam allowance. So when you join it together, to that right. one there yeah. will be on the edge there. You oh. see? Yeah. Can't see it now. Yeah. So I put it down. So that's a side <coughs> hexy. <coughs> when you me. come to do a top and bottom hexy, it's slightly different. Oh, okay. So what you've got to do is you've got to draw um, that one. I went there. It says it's all in the instructions. You yeah, don't yeah. have to remember. Is halfway along here and halfway along here. You can measure it if you like, or you can just guess. Oh, it's at a different point. It's a different point. I, <coughs> Excuse me. When I'm you do it, just <coughs> measure it just to get it right and then you cut along there and remember that gives you two so you will have do keep the other half because you <coughs> need that so when you come to do that one you just cut that one out and then the, then once you've done these you see then it will all you'll end up with a nice square so some people do it whereas they do the whole hexy and then they just sew through it as the seam allowance yeah. but I prefer to make <coughs> it like that so I won't stick that one again but look there you go that one goes away but don't you don't need to stick the long the top yeah, edge the side, because it? you won't need that okay perfect perfect Susan says she loves her glue pen Normally I tacked, but I've become a convert she says mm, well I know I was a bit sniffy about gluing when yeah. I first I thought 
Crazy Rain says good morning. And Veronica says good morning. Bit overcast in Grimsby today. Oh, it's overcast here at the moment. Right, so we've, we've done all of your hexes. So we've done all of our hexes or we've done our rows, depending on which order you're going to do mm -hmm. them in. So here are some I prepared earlier. I glued, and look, there's one tacked and some glued. Okay. So now we're going to sew them together. I'm going to sew them in red thread so that you can <gasps> see, but you're not going to sew them in red thread. You're going to sew them in a thread that goes, um, that matches. Hard to say when you've got lots of different colours. With the blue and white one, I would do it in white. With the um, flower basket, I would do it in a pale grey. Or, or a pale, sand. Or, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Something neutral. There's a colour I really like that's a really, really pale mauve that seems to go with everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Don't know why. Just no. seems, because it's sort of grey and it's sort of pink and, yeah. it's, and it seems to go with everything. So, really easy. You then work out what order you're going to put them in. Is it just normal thread, sorry? Right, well, there's a great debate as to the thread you should use. There's all different sorts of thread. There's quilting, th um, you know, the really sort of thin filament thread, yeah. cotton thread, polyester thread, all different sorts. But I use polyester thread. Just a straightforward yeah. polyester thread. Because it doesn't break as easily as the cotton thread. And the point of EPP, is, I think, is you should see the stitches. Mm -hmm. Because it's handmade, isn't it? So I tend to I use polyester thread. There are all different sorts of thread you can use, and it is personal preference. But I just use cheap polyester thread, okay. and it's absolutely fine. So just work out wh which order you're going to put them together in, because you've got your picture, you've labelled them, however you're going to do it, and then put. We're going to sew two of them together, like that. That's all right. Thank you. You'd think I'd never done this, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So I'm going to sew those two together. So put them right sides together, like so. Now, needles, I started off when I first did it, and I used a really short, sharp, a betweens quilting needle. Right. But I've discovered since that a milliner's needle or straw is the best thing for EPP. Oh, okay. Because um, they're long needles, they've got a fine eye and a very sharp point. And the length of the needle, because they were used for making hats, weren't they? Yeah. Hence. Still are. Still are. Yeah. They? <laughs> okay. Some people call them milliners and some people call them straw. Maybe it's that because all mill hats were made from straw. No, no, I, well, no, because when we, when I was at college, they mm. were just called straws. Oh, okay. And you had a different millinery needle, but now they seem to call milliners and straws. Yeah, the same thing. I don't yeah. know what there's. But anyway, they, I prefer these because they're longer. There's, it's, there's more to get hold of, and yeah. because they're very fine. I've tried all different needles and also the betweens needles that I used to use, they really make holes in your fingers. Yeah, I used to use betweens to sew everything, even when I was doing my binding mm. on dresses and everything, but, but they, they do you get holes take in your fingers. I mean, I use a thimble, I do use a thimble, yeah. but milliner's needles are less likely to get holes in, and yeah. I've tried lots of different ones. So what I do when I start is I start a little bit of the way in from the end. Oh, okay. Okay, just a little bit. And then just uh, don't don't use knots. Knots come undone, and they add bulk. And I'm do, I'm using red thread as I said, just so you can see it. And then yeah. just make a couple of small stitches to secure the thread. You can then snip off that end later if you like. Right. But. Um, but you start a little way down. A little way down because if you start here, that's the point of the pressure. That's where you're going to open it later. Right. That's the point of the greatest pressure on it. So if you start a little bit of the way down, then you can work your way down to the bottom and then work your way back up again. Right. And then, because the thing that will, the stitches that will come under the most are the ones at the ends. But if you've started a little bit of the way up, and then go down, then you can go back again. Yeah. It's more secure. Now, to sew them together, you just work a stitch that goes straight through from the top, from one side to the other. Try not to sew the card, if the paper. If you do, it's not the end of the world because you won't sew that much of it and it will just tear out. Uh -huh. But just try not to. But do you know, the first 10 you do, you'll probably sew the card. The next 10, you won't sew much. By the time you've got to 85, you won't be doing it at all. No. Um, and then, so it's a, called a whip stitch, which is basically a horizontal stitch that goes through the fabric from one side to the other. Uh -huh. And then you do another one. Now, the more proficient you get at this, the closer your stitches will be and the smaller they'll be. Some people say you should have 15 stitches to the inch, which I think is a little excessive. Oh, yeah. But actually, then I suppose, well... Yeah. Do you know, I, but I don't. I, have, I don't have that many. 
I space them quite apart. So, so, you know, really, as you, the closer your stitches are, the neater it will be. But I just don't worry about it too much. Don't beat yourself up. The whole point is making this and enjoying the process. Exactly. And if they are wide apart, then there we are. So you sew all the way down to the end. Yeah. When you get to the end, just do a couple of stitches on top of each other, just because that's your pressure point. Oh, so now you don't go to the end and go back up a bit then? No. So that corner. Because we're going to join another one in. You see, we're going to keep that threads not going anywhere. Oh, oh, right, okay. Yeah, if we were finishing, we would, yeah, but yeah, because we're it. not finishing. So yeah. now, so look, you can see my red stitches, yeah. but if they were white or blue, you wouldn't be able to see those. No. So um, then we're going to put another one in. So say we wanted to put that one in there. Yeah. You have to put, I'm going to do that side, fold that, that one right sides together, pick it up. Here, yeah, right. And then... That's if I actually stood on the cross, it might help, might not yeah. it? That's what the cross is on the floor. I know, for. I've just realised that. That match she wasn't standing. Uh, Julie on the says cross. she's got the blue china one, so lovely to see Rebecca doing a demo. Uh, Susan says, I use whatever thread I have to hand, normally poly, and find the thimble is a must and definitely no knots. And mm -hmm. Lo says I zigzag them together on the sewing machine. <laughs> Why not? So I do use a thimble. Um, I don't know even whether we sell this is my favourite thimble because it's rubbery. Okay. So well, if you we can, don't sell those, but maybe you, you know, can work with the bag. Maybe team. we could because um, I find my finger sweats less. A pleasant thought, but sweaty fingers. You yeah. Know. Well, they get they do, don't they? They do. You know? No, so, they do. So if you're going to use a thimble, I would recommend it. And honestly, again, if you've never used one or you find it difficult, by the time you've got to the end, but of how this, do you push with that? If it's rubbery, do you push with the end? Yeah. Oh, you see, I was pushed with the side, my. Thimble. Well, it's rubbery there, but it's metal yeah, on the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I do is I hold it the good thing is with the rubber that's what i find is that you can the rubber will grip oh yeah okay so that's why i like this yeah. one so you don't have to i and to be honest sometimes i don't even use it but the fact that it's there it stops me getting holes in it yeah it's like wearing a plaster almost oh no 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 but but the, the thing is if you get it and then later on you, you go to wash your hands and there's all lots and lots and lots of like little... Oh, I've got constantly got holes in and my fingers. And if you fingers. put sanitizer on them when you've got con lots of little holes in oh, your fingers. Oh, horrible. So when you get to the end, right, so now if we were putting those together, maybe we want to sew that end. You might want to put another one here. But yeah. if you want to go back there, don't undo the thread and start again because that's just annoying, isn't it? Just track back. So what I do is I work like just maybe two or three stitches back again. Oh, okay. I don't know whether this is the right way to do it, but I just find that's quicker than undoing and starting again. Yeah. Now we're back to the beginning again, because the less you start and finish your thread, the better, because yeah. you haven't got knots. So now we're going to sew these sides together. Uh -huh. So if you fold them right sides together. Which is why it's good that the papers fold and not folded. Yes, this. then you sew that one down. When you finish, which I'm not going to, so I can go show the next bit. Just do a few stitches on top of each other, like if, I, if this was the end, and then cut it off. Uh huh. And you just keep going. When you've sewn a few together, so let's talk about cut, about removing. Yeah. So I've sewn six together here. Right. See, I've got numbers on mine: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven actually yeah. on there. Um, when you come to sew the part ones in, so there's the part one. You remember that the end isn't. Yeah. You just Put that one into because it's a, a side one. Put it into there, um, and then you would sew that one into there. When you sew them together, you don't need to sew all the way to the end of the fabric if you don't want to. You You're can right. just sew up to the end of the card. Okay. It doesn't really matter. So sew them in, and they're done in exactly the same way. You mm. just ex same, but you obviously you have to sew the ends there. But then you get a nice neat edge. So say this was the top of the design, you can see that's a nice neat edge ready for your seam allowance. Yeah. So I've sewn a few together there. When you come to, because you're obviously going to need to reuse some of these hexes, yeah. um, don't take any out until they're completely surrounded by stitching. So you can only take one of those out? Only, I know. Until you get right to the very end and then obviously you will need to. So what I would say is before you take any out anyway, even if the middle is, just give it a little press, just sort of seals it a little bit. It won't affect the glue, so don't worry. Yeah. Um, when you come to take out the edge ones, because obviously they won't be secured, just give them a press and it's enough to hold it. So these have all been glued. All you have to do, let's take my thimble off. 
Jackie says she can't use thimbles. She uses fabric plasters. And yeah. so does Sharon. Yeah, I know. It's just one of those things that you, if you use it enough, you get used to it. Yeah. Oh, I, no, no. I, I, when I first went to Wimbledon, it was like, how am I ever going to get used to it? And then it. one day, suddenly, and then I couldn't sew, in, couldn't sew without it. If I sew without them, it feels odd now. Yeah, it does. it's sort of like a comfort thing, yeah. isn't it? Um, so when, look, you can see now with the glue how easy. Also, it doesn't matter. It stays on here because I prepared this two weeks ago. What, sorry? I prepared this two weeks ago. Oh, and it's all, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. I was reading a message just said that they had nothing to do with this. Just saying, I love your dress, Rebecca. Oh, you thank you look stunning much. in those colours. And oh. thank you for explaining. That's from Kay. Oh, thank you very much. Maybe you see the green. Yeah. Pretty dress. Because it's a nice summer, hot day. So I just prepared this a couple of weeks ago and it's all still beautifully yeah, yeah. glued. So it doesn't make any difference. And if you find that the glue is a little bit tough, just like, like Becca says, if you run the iron over it, first of all, it seals it, but also it makes the glue yeah, uh, malleable again. So you can then pull your, your, your hexes out. Um, so I've pulled all of that out and then you just take it out. You see, and that's fine. I mean, you can see there are a few little where I've sewn through the cards. Yeah. Before you reuse them, just give them a little press. On and a rub off cool, that number four. A cool iron. Hmm? Rub oh, rub it. oh, yeah, just turn over. Because oh, I, I use I a friction mine. pen. Yes, then it will come off. Yeah. But you see, because I friction pen the outside of mine, I then decided I would label the other side. You don't have to, it depends. Yeah. Maybe to start with, when you do your first couple of rows, maybe label a lot and then you'll get used to it. Um, if you use a dry, cool iron and give them a little press, they flatten, but they also get their crispness, crispness back. back. yeah. Because when you're sewing, you'll be bending them all over the place. Well, that's like in the old days when they used to iron the newspaper for the rip for the gentry. Yes. Because it was all nice and crisp and neat. Not to get the, not to get them. Well, they wouldn't have had creases in, would it? You often wonder why they yeah. did that. Yeah, they ironed it Just to bring it back it. to its crispness, and so you didn't get a soggy old newspaper. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? That makes you really posh if you have your newspaper oh, yes, iron, yeah, totally. doesn't it? Yeah. So that's how you just take them out and reuse them. Right. And then what I would say, I mean, you're going to have to take them out anyway because you'll need them, but actually it becomes easier to deal with. When you've got halfway down the cushion, there's a lot of papers there and it gets really, really stiff. So if you take them out, it's, it becomes more flexible. But actually, it's really nice when you've done that. To sort of feel like you yeah. feel like it's getting there when you're yeah. doing something. Also, good. we do suggest that you don't buy some other three quarter inch ones because even like your quarter inch thing on the sewing machine, don't mix other. So you've got a hundred in here. Don't think, oh, I'll go and buy a hundred from somewhere else or another make or something like that because if they're just like tiny, tiny, tiny bit out, it's going to throw your yeah, whole it will thing, do. Isn't it? Yes. So it's best to use the same, all the same ones, all the same all from, from one project basically. So once you've sewn it all together, um, then obviously because you haven't turned the ends under of these, the, your quarter of an inch seam allowance is there. It's all done. Mm -hmm. So you sew the strips all the way around. You sew one to the top and one to the bottom, which you can't see from here because they're sort of hidden, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and then you can put the zip in the bottom. If you don't want to do a zip, please don't not make a cushion because you don't want to do a zip. Just sew the cushion in because the, the, um, on the back of the cushion, which looks exactly the same as the front, this is the lovely thing when you've done it, you can start putting them together and they start matching up. But you could swap your flowers round. Yeah. So if you wanted your flowers in a different order, you could. Could do. You could take the handle out. Apparently ironing a newspaper set the ink as well, so you didn't get oh, dirty did fingerprints. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Now that makes more sense to me than, make, that, yeah. than making it crisp, actually. <coughs> I also thought it was to make it all nice and crisp for the gentry to read. But, but anyway, then you'd, wouldn't you have to iron every page? You can just iron the outside. We're going to go for a break now. So <laughs> <laughs> We're discussing ironing new You papers. can discuss it later. Um, so you then you sew the all the borders around the edge and then you can make your cushion up. But if you don't like putting zips in, don't worry, just sew it in. How many times uh, are you going to take it out anyway? I know what you could do, though. You could buy one of the panels to go with and make an envelope back. Yeah, easy indeed. Don't you don't have so if you on this panel you've got essentially two cushions. Yes. And if you bought one of the fat quarter fatter quarter panels, you could make an envelope back on the back because yeah. they're big enough for that. And then you can make the zip cases. And the good thing about the zip case is that these are perfect for is that keeping. A case to keep your zips in then. A zip case. Yeah. <laughs> these are perfect for keeping all your little hexes in. Perfect. And wh why are you showing those? Because they come on the panel. Yeah, well, that's that's if you wanted to keep them in. So yeah, say no, no, you've those, assembled so, so those them all. Zip cases, you as you. Sorry, on the on the panel, if on the floor, the basket of flowers, you get a front and a back, and you get two of them. Right. So you can use 
them for the lining for one case or you can use it to make two cases, two cases. or you can use it to make four cases yeah. and use your own fabric on the back mm -hmm. um, and it, all it is is just a little zip case and then you put your own lining in but you can use them for anything but they just sort of match and if you're an EP peer you need a little EPP purse yeah so once you've got all your hexes and you've assembled them they keep them all in here nice and neat. or even when you've just opened this bag and yeah. you don't want those all going all over the place. And the instructions in. for assembling the zip case are on the instructions. Oh, they are? Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Something so, for nothing then. Something for nothing. It's all Excellent. there. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, she's back. Excellent. She's back in an hour to do the um, mug bags, mug bag, uh, and the tea bag <laughs> holder and the coaster. And there's a brand new colourway today in that as well. It's all available on pre-order. Let's just recap this one then. So let's... Oh, now they're level pegging. Oh, they're they? level pegging first. So this one first, which is the basket one. So you get all of your hexes that you cut out exactly on the line there, even the half hexes around the outside. Plus you get your blue borders. Plus you get a panel for the back. Plus you get four of these to make your purses with. Plus you get all the little uh, labels there if you want to. Loads, plus your hexes, plus your instructions. Ooh. Come on. £24.99. Oh, and a different picture. Hi, everyone. What a lovely surprise. John and Bex. I forgot you two run together from Anne in Cheshire. Oh, thank you. She wouldn't have turned on otherwise. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> if we weren't together. It happens about once a month, doesn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> then the blue one. I can just do it like that, can't I? The blue one. Level pegging we are at the moment on these, so then you get your hexes. Oh, right, there's a lot. You've got the blue one in baskets. Well, we've got the blue one in baskets. So there's the blue hexes. I like the blue one best. Yeah, I like the basket Yeah. I think that's lovely. And then you get the four of these, the same as you do with all the coloured ones, your labels and your panels at the bottom there. You know, your panels, your um, edging. Uh, plus your instructions, plus your hexes. There it is on. Now, is that in your house? No, that's Amy's house. Oh, is it? Yes, because I used to take the photos, but I'm not very good at it. She's much better. Oh. So I, when I've made them, I give them to Amy and she takes the photos. Is and they're so much better. Well, that's so much better. Isn't it funny to a sofa to match that cushion, Yes, though? I know. Maybe she bought it specially. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> right, then I've got the, as well as those, I've got the two panels, right? This is like, this came about because... Fewer than 25 of these... Uh, these came about because on a previous project, someone said, oh, Rebecca, it's such a shame you don't do the fabric to match your projects. Well, she's done that. And also, if you've bought these in the past, we've also got fabrics to go with these now as well, haven't we, Rebecca? Yes. These ones here, yeah. Yes, so this is a panel where you get a fatter quarter. It's 50 by 70. You get the basket weave, you get the background blue, you get the actual flowers in vases, and the, this one, which Hannah loves, the flowers itself. 19.99. You can use it for whatever you want. You don't need it for that project. But what, as I was saying, if you wanted to make a cushion without a zip in it, you could make an envelope back using these, couldn't you? And someone did ask us for the basket. Oh, did they? Yeah. Just one person. Just one? Just one person. I hope that one person buys it. But yeah, but the, thing, it was. the <laughs> thing is, though, basket weaves, it's, you'll be amazed at what you'll use it well, for. It's like wood it? grain fabric. Yes. Oh, yes. I love wood grain. No, I have got a, a half a metre of it that I bought, I reckon, over 10 years ago. I don't know where to get it now. I use it all the time. Oh, you can use it. Well, you well, you'll have to do it. You'll have to design something that's all wood grain using on wood, it. but I love and grass. I like grass fabric. Do you? Well, just think things like applique or bits where you just need that texture. Right, here's the other panel. <laughs> He's like, what is she on about? Yeah, Hannah's worried about the break. Don't worry about the break, Hannah. Fewer than twenty of these. <laughs> yeah, we've got There'll to come be back and do one. the ten o'clock special. There'll be another we? one. Yeah. <laughs> In an hour. Oh, it's only nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock, not ten o'clock. It's because I'm not used to having a guest on at eight o'clock. It's really so weird, isn't it? Yeah. Don't know why. They I'm... did that to get you here early. Do you think you that's what I did? Wonder why I was on at eight. Is that so, to get me early? There's only twenty of these panels left, just so you know. Right, everything else on the website. Now, don't forget. After the break, I've got pre-cuts. I'll have a nine o'clock special, which is brand new, brand new, brand new. We'll see you in four. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? 
You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Sewing has been part of the Great British Heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page sewing street have our very own app you can now watch and shop from anywhere simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet then log in or create an account and you're done you can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
It's time for Hannah's pre-cut of the hour. Oh, management are in now. Managers are in, they don't know yet, so they'll be looking at their telly going, what on earth are they talk about? So Hannah has chosen, uh, at the beginning of each hour, Hannah has chosen a pre-cut, especially the last one was end of range, uh, end of shop, sold out, sold out. This, brand new, brand new today. Now, you may have seen the fabric before. We've had some of the fabric, um, but um, not, we've not had the five-inch charm packs before. It's not been on pre-order, so it is available. The first time you've seen it, as soon as those graphics come in, you can start buying it. So they're five inch square, 12 99 that's really good. It's Moda, Moda by Bonnie and Camille. Bonnie and Camille, there we go, five inch squares. Oh, look, oh, didn't we have that yesterday in a different color in one of the kits? Yeah, hang on, come on, there you go, there you go. Nice, aren't they? It's lovely, vintagey, ditzy, that one, isn't it? So you get, what do you get in here? You get 42 five-inch squares. I'm finished. 42 five-inch squares. Right, half the stock's gone already. Look! Right, please be careful on this. They're absolutely flying out at 12 .99. It is Hannah's pre-cut of the hour special. Yeah, smooth, smooth that is, isn't it? Smooth, trips off the tongue. Oh, look, aren't they lovely? These are flying out, flying, flying, flying. Brand spanking new today. Oh, I love that sage green. Would you call it sage? Oh, look, that's nice. I wonder if, oh, this is lovely. Sarah says, morning, everyone. I'm already in the paddling pool. <laughs> It's one of those days today, one of those days. Rebecca Reed like in her grass and a wood chip and then, I don't know, look beautiful. <laughs> look, aren't they lovely? Emma went to a new exercise class night, she's exhausted today. Hannah went to a new yoga class last night and got locked in the park. <laughs> Basically, it's in a park in where, near where she lives, right? And it's a private park, so you have to be buzzed in and everything. So they buzzed her in, she went to the class. Then afterwards, she wandered through the park, tried to go, you need a fob to get out of the park, right? So she then had to hang around like this, waiting for somebody else to leave the park. But she didn't want to say, oh, I'm locked in, can you let... She, so the first people came along, she was like, oh, I'll go out now. And then they went into the toilet like that. She had to, so she had to pretend to read the note board. And then when they went out, she then walked out the gate. Oh, sold out. Sold out, sold out. That was the next special is in the uh, 10 o'clock hour. And that is uh, this. Yep, yeah, no, it's this. Uh, it's one of these. <laughs> it's one of these. Do you know what? In the, in the prep this morning, we did all this and my brain's gone completely addled. Yeah, that, this one was in 12 o'clock, then it moved, to, I thought that moved to 11 then. This is, yeah, that, so that's the next hour, last of, last of the Dan Morris. This is at 10 o'clock. No, it isn't this one. I thought it was, I thought it was. Oh, I'm going to do this one, I'm going to do this one the next hour. We'll do this one the next hour. This is end of, end of range, coming up at 10 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> We're very sorted in what we're doing. I thought it was that one wasn't there, but anyway, we're going now. We're going now. Pre-cut hour. Now, there's some go now, in this hour, I've got some brand new pieces that you've never, ever seen before. I've got some that I've never seen before, which I think are adorable. Got some panels, got some books, and got some 10-inch uh, charm packs. Right. Yes. Right. Is it this one? Right. Wildflower farm panel. This is cute, this one, look. Now this one is, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, right at the beginning, we're uh, less than 20, fewer than 20, and we can't get it again. Oh, this is the panel. I tell you what, this is the panel. Uh, uh, Debbie Harry, was it Debbie Harry made a wall hanging out of it, didn't she? Oh, best friend Kate. Morning, John. Another five-inch charm pack. One of my favourite things. Oh, I hope you've checked out because they've sold out now. I, I, Kate's not buying anything this week if her husband's watching. 
This is lovely, isn't it? So beautiful. Do you want me to put it down? 15 left. The colours are so cute, aren't they? The painting's like watercolours. Those, those flowers in there look like watercolour flowers, don't they? Got nice because they've got little frames on them. So you want to cut them out, use them in a quilt. Okay, so uh, this would be nice if you own a bed and breakfast called Ladyburg, apparently. Ladyburg. Ladybug even. <laughs> Not Ladybird, it's Ladybug. Yes. In this country, they're ladybirds. In America, they're ladybugs. Come home to the country. Relax, rejuvenate, and refresh. Hannah's on her way. Or this one, camping and nature resort, sleep under the stars with great big dragonflies. This one, oh bees, this one is at the honeybee acres, wildflower seeds and teas open year round. Uh, what's this one here then? What's the butterfly one? Pick your own bouquets, nine till five, through Monday through Friday. Yes. 1932 though. It's lovely. It's, I love the fact they've, they've done that mottledy fabric in the background there as well. Eight left, eight left. Oh, it's all, nine, it's all 1932. Oh, no, 1965. 1920. Oh, we're moving on. All right. Oh, have I? Right here, let me put that one there. That one goes there. That one goes there. Uh, yes, this is lovely, this one. I only have been on air once, this one. This is the panel. Oh. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? Right, so there's... Oh, do they match? No, no, they're different, look. So you've got eggs, eggs in a nest. You've got the, that thing, dragonfly. What kind of bird's that, then? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Keys the garden. Everyone's a fashion stylist this morning, aren't they? Or a doctor. Everyone's got, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, it's fine. Yeah, where's the moon in the circle of life? Right, beautiful, I love the way it's been, kind of looks like they've all been distressed. Why, why is it only 9 99 Lovely, isn't it? So cute. Now, I don't know, what would you make out of it, though? Because if you buy two, they won't come joined together. So don't be buying these if you're going to make a skirt or anything, because they won't come joined together. I like the old script writing in the background as well. Fewer than 20 of those left now. They're pretty, aren't they? Let me hold it up for you just so you get a final look. It's 60 centimetres drop, this one. It is a panel. It's nice, isn't it? Okay, now I've got a sunflower panel. They're always very popular. Oh, did you see the... Now, you know the, the sunflower that Hannah bought me? It's beautiful, but it's a double header. Yeah, so the stalk's gone up like that, right? And then there's the, the sunflower there. There's another one's come out like that now. It's about to come out. Now, I've, I'm going to stake them, don't worry. Just worried that they're going to... Oh, no, it's not, it's not tall like a sunflower like that. It's only about that tall. It must have been a miniature. Steph, listen, Steph, you're not being rude at all. Steph, no, you're not being rude in the slightest. Don't you worry. Today's a day when we're getting some strange messages in. Look at that, beautiful. Now, this was from an original... Um, no, I don't want to say original. 
Not the originals of flat. This was from a quilt that Wendy Orlando did with this fabric and sunflower fabrics in and things like that. It's called Sunny Sunflowers, this one. 100% cotton. Beautiful. Butterflies, bumblebees, sunflowers. Have I? Yeah, I'll wait for Hannah to read it out. <laughs> so anyway, she can't quite figure it out, but it's in a jacaranda tree. There you go. It's just called Jacaranda by Matthew Hillier, this one. Oh, egret. Now, weren't the egret feathers very big in Edwardian times? And I don't think you're allowed to use these feathers in fashion anymore. Look beautiful. No, if you imagine an upstairs, downstairs hat, or um, um, what was the film that Kate Winslet was in with the ship that sank? Titanic. Her opening number had feathers on like that, a bit like that. What do people use charm packs for, says Michelle? Well, it means you get a taste of the whole, you can make a whole quilt, a whole quilt top with the, the whole collection of fabrics. It's lovely. Or EPP. Or foundation paper piecing. Oh, here you go. Hi, John and team. Ladybirds in Norfolk are known as Bishy Barnabies. hope the spelling's right. Judy from Norfolk. Bish, bishy Barnabies. I wonder why that is then, Jude. Anyway, thank you. See, every day is a, every day is a school day. Derek says, morning, Hannah, Emma and John. Another day of beautiful fabric. Indeed. This is a huge panel, this, isn't it? Why have we got the size? Have you got the size there? No. Yeah, 60 centimetres drop. It's lovely, isn't it? Very, um... Spiritual, mystical. Remember, if you buy two, they don't come joined together. They've got huge feet. We'll have to hold on to the jacaranda tree. Oh, the signal keeps breaking up on my TV. It's like having Stan Collymore in my sewing room. <laughs> they won't know who... Uh, Sue, they won't know who you mean. They're too young. Stan Collymore used to do a whole joke about... He'd have a brown coat on, the flat cap, and he'd hold onto his microphone, and it'd be like, eh, 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 and it'd be like the microphone was breaking up, and that was his whole act. Yeah, they're not impressed. Well, no, you wouldn't pick up if Emma rang you. Uh, who's next? What's next? Leopard. Oh, look at these lovely eyes on this one. Oh, no, the teddy bear one's sold out. I've got two of them. Both of them have sold out. Teddy bear ones are sold out. The ones I said were like Little Paul. Maybe Little Paul's bought them to decorate his bedroom in. He's got his carpet laid. He's been sleeping in the spare room, hasn't he? Cause his carpet, yeah, because the carpet's been laid now. And he's got his floor done in the hall and his floor done in the bathroom. He told her, he showed his pictures. He's brought pictures in. Oh, what did I say? Did I not say Norman Collier? What who did, oh, Stan Collymore. No, you mean Norman Collier. Yeah, you do mean Norman. Isn't Stan Collymore a footballer that used to go out with Ulrika? Ulrika, ka, 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 ka. I used to do a Saturday night show with Ulrika. Yeah, on ITV, prime time. Prime time, darling, prime time. <laughs> now I'm working with Hannah. I'll be Hannah ha ka 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 Hannah. It doesn't work like that, does it? Tre Jan, you're right, it was Norman Collier. Yeah. I can indeed. Now, this was so popular. Kat and I launched these. These were so popular. Oh no, everything's selling out without me showing it to you. Uh, did you bring the Highland Cow to the table? I don't think Highland Cow made it to the table. Emma. She was putting things on the other table, you see, it could be over there. There you go, look. It's not embarrassing, Sue, we all make mistakes. Yeah. 
some of us more than others. I'll explain that to you later. Morning, John and team. Loving the panel, says Dee. How are you this morning, Dee? Dee's not been well. Oh, and, and thank you for all your messages about my sister-in-law, Julie. She's coming home today. I won't go into details, but no. But they've had to take some muscle from here to put it here, and it sounds gruesome, but... Mindful mandalas in pink. Seventeen ninety nine. Beautiful. See, look at that. Wouldn't that be lovely if you just used it like that? Panels of a skirt. Oh, excuse me, hiccuping. Then the last one of the panels is the Riley Blake. Oh, no, I've got another panel here. Yeah, Emma, put it on the wrong side. Yeah, Emma, put it there. <laughs> you can never have too much happy, Emma. And it's not all sunshine and lollipops. But a good amount of it actually is. Anything is possible, Emma. Be the sunshine. Oh. Yeah. Old-fashioned things like fresh air and sunshine are hard to beat. Find your happy place. Well, we're all in it now, aren't we? Oh, happy day. I like this, and I love these here because they're all blocks, look. Half square triangles, your flying geese, your nine patch. What's in there here? Uh, is that a Missouri star, that one? It's gone quiet in the gallery. Fourteen ninety nine. Stan Boardman. Oh, now Claire. Stan Boardman used to live next door to... My, before Mike and Julie got married, Stan Boardman lived in the same village that Mike lived in. But that's not... Stan Boardman didn't do that. Stan Boardman was the Liverpool who used to get... Oh, I can't... His catchphrase... I, I, I'm not sure if he'd be classed as racist these days, so I'm not going to say it. Yeah. It wasn't. He wasn't being racist. He wasn't being racist at all, but it, it was a different era. Uh... Oh, happy day, fabric, 90 centimetres. I've... Oh, OK, I'm going off that. I've got that one. OK, right. Rainbow fat quarter bundle. Yep. Oh, I love these. There's something that's just so joyous about rainbow colours, aren't there? Look at these. We've moved on from the happy days now. One to rainbows now. Raindrops on roses. Oh, it's not why, that's not what I was going to sing then. I don't know why that one came out. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Or oh, what did Dana sang one as well, didn't she? Red and yellow and pink and green, orange and violet and blue. <coughs> oh, there's Joseph's Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat with us singing about the colours in. You'll remember that one, Hannah. Go! No, not that song. She's singing the wrong song now. Beautiful. Oh, that was Emma. Oh, okay. I thought Nandy could be a... No, that's from Les Mis. They don't wear bright... They don't wear brightly coloured coats in Les Mis. This is a bright rainbow bundle. Ten. Bad sell out. Who told you that? Apparently, Stan... Who, which one? Stan Baldwin still does after dinner speaking. You're booking for £2,500. Oh, two £5,000. No. <laughs> right, OK. Rainbow panel now. <clears throat> I'm a little bit concerned... That everything's set no, no, but everything's selling, right? And we're, we're not even halfway through the show yet. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, now, Emma, this one could do with a bit of a press. So, this one's 19.99. You get the squiggles, you get the scratches, you get the blobs, you get the dollops, you get the raindrops, you get the checks, you get your wiggly lines. I'll carry on. Isn't it lovely? All those colours. Now, they're all two and a half inches wide. You get 16 strips. They're 140 centimetres long each. Let me hold it up for you. Do what? Oh, the moon is in waxing crescent phase, apparently. Was, didn't that look exciting when uh, Richard Branson went up in that thing and he went all, he was talking and then he went all like kind of weightless and everything. I'd love to try that. Last week he went to the moon. Well, no, he didn't get to the moon. He went to the edge of space, didn't he, last week? And have you not watched? Oh, no. It happened over the weekend. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, how lovely to do you when you live one of your childhood dreams. I mean, obviously you need billions of pounds to do it, but you know. Ditsy rainbow stripe fabric panels, strip 16 of them, each of them two and a half inches in length, uh, width, 140 long. Do you know what? You wouldn't even know to cut those out. If you just did a little stitch line in between those, it's going to look like you've done a jelly roll quilt, isn't it? Oh, except you'd want them to be at starting and stopping at different points, I suppose. Lovely colours. Look, let me just show you show the colours here. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh, there you go. You see the colours like that, can't you? Okay. Ditsy Rainbow. Could do a book next. Yep. Ten dazzling projects. Make pre-cut quilts. This one's called 10.99. So that's, uh, well look at that. That's a pound and nine pence a project. Oh, now these are all done by different designers. Look, so this is Summer Sorbet by Rachel Griffiths, not the actress. Block assembly. Then we've got Dancing Squares by Liz Anolowski. Yeah, yeah, if you like that, then you can then research the designers. So this one is I Can Sing a Rainbow. How funny by Alison Nicole. Oh, look, no, it looks, I was going to say, I'm not sure if I like it very much, but it actually looks lovely made up, doesn't it, look? Oh, that's nice. Stairways by Amanda Murphy. Beautiful. That's lovely. Yeah, a lot of breaking down. Is that the Moody Teenagers Trainers? Oh, no, it's a different bedroom. Then we've got Wild Webs by Mary Cowan. Then we've got Garden Days by Sherry McConnell. It's very lo lovely. Oh, there's no picture of Sherry's, look. Oh. Hugs and Kisses by Cheryl Arkinson. That was Hannah's Weekend. Hugs and Kisses and Birthday Wishes. Turn up the volume. That's what our neighbours were saying, not. Playground by Camille Ross Kelly. Century, oh now Sherry's done a second one, <coughs> she's done uh, Century Farm here, Master Sweet by Str Sweet Water, some lovely project, oh there you go, why is the bed under a tree, not quite sure, it'd be quite nice to go to sleep there wouldn't it? Looks a bit autumnal though, doesn't it? Now we'll ask Rebecca Reed because she likes pictures of grass. That's lovely. Ten ninety nine. Make pre cut quilts. Ten dazzling projects to sew. Anna says there's not enough dazzle in her life.
Oh, Anna's got a friend called Dazzle. Oh, he's not your friend. Oh, he's in Hobby City. <laughs> it's a nickname in Hobby City, which is coming off soon. Is that a book? Oh, right, okay. This one. Oh, hang on, who's coming through now? Oh, these are pretty. Why? Anyway, I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. Two sugars for me, please. I'm, I'm, I'm opening this one. How many have we got, by the way? Oh, okay, I'm fine. I've not seen this before. Oh, these are beautiful. Look. Look. Oh, now, now. Look, that's very like the print on Rebecca Reed's. Um, no, no, no. On the panel we just had earlier. Beautiful. These are lovely. So, uh, hang on, I know nothing about these. These are Moda Confection Batiks. You get 40, they're two and a half inches wide, 44 inches long. Beautiful, beautiful Batiks. Now, Batik quilts are very, very popular, aren't they? Oh, oh what, they're by who, sorry? Now, Kate Spain, now she did, now you know why we know her? When Moda, oh, it's Moda. When Moda, remember, we wasn't here, we were at, at, at Sewing Quarter, and we had all of those um, fat quarter bundles that all the different designers had chosen their favourite colours to go into, and Kate Spain did one of those. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? Go through every colour, doesn't it? Then it's weird. I wonder if yellow isn't a very popular batik colour, because if you notice, we've done another batik. There's very few yellows in there. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? A dotty one there. Uh, I'm actually forty-four ninety-nine. Kate Spain, known for her batik prints and her batik designs. Oh, look, beautiful. Being a bit self-indulgent with this one because they're, they're so lovely. Lovely. I've got a book. Oh, excuse me. I've got a book coming up in a minute. It'd be good for this. Time saving quilts with two and a half inch strips. Look, beautiful. It's like um, raspberry, isn't it? It's crushed raspberries, those. Oh, I've got some blackberries in the fridge, actually. I might go and get those in half an hour. Beautiful. I love the fact they're tied up as well, look, with a little bit of batik as well. No elastic bands or anything. Gorgeous. Thank you, Kate. We like those. Kate Spain. Keep going through for those. The colours are lovely, look. Okay, let's put that there, that there. Right, so if you're going to get one of those, maybe you'd like this book here. Nine easy quilts made with pre-cut strips. And he's quilting. Now you know Annie's quilting. Always very, very eight ninety nine. So it's not even a pound a project, right? And they're really, really, really well set out designs. These. Oh look, that's lovely, isn't it? So that's crystal. 
So you need 40 two and a half inch strips. Well, you could do that with that last one, wouldn't you? But then you will need your dark up. You need um, fabric to do your borders and your binding with, obviously. Spot on. Spot on. At midnight. That's a quote, isn't it? Oh, spot on. Who used to say that? Reflections of fall. That's something like Alison Marion would do, isn't it? Or Emma Bradford, like do a quilt and then put those leaves in the middle there. It is nearly autumn because the nights are drawing in. Stop, drop and roll. End of summer. My garden furniture still hasn't arrived yet. And you said this last time. Well, that's that one there. It's unusual that she just put that big square in the middle. Star bright. Star bright. Well, that's really pretty, that one. That's lovely, isn't it? Jardin bleu. But I suppose if you used a different colour, it could be Jardin rouge. Oh, Jardin peas. That's my favourite. Stripping hexes. Lovely. I, I think I like the colours that they put in there. Rainbow. Well, that one's quite um, autumnal. Oh, it's called Galaxy. See, I've done that in blue, personally. I shall. Beautiful. There they all are. Uh, $8.99. Back in stock because it's so popular. Got it back in stock for you. We love a nanny's quilting book. Now tells to say. True colours. That's why I'm wondering. That's, um, pink hair, what's she called? Just wrote crinky boots. Who wrote who, pink hair? Think, true colours. Who sang that? Come on. Oh, what is wrong with my brain this morning? Cindy Lauper, Cindy Lauper. She did, she wrote the songs in Kinky Boots. Yeah, the musical. Tula Pink True Colours, they're lovely. I'm not going to open these, they're stunning, aren't they? Now, if you watch the, um, Rebecca Reed had all of these as a 10-inch charm pack when she was on with Wendy last week. Thank you, Derek, Cindy Lauper. Okay, we've moved on, we've moved on. There it all is, look. Oh, now, haven't they done that beautifully? That would look lovely as that hexy, it would look lovely as that hexy quilt in that book, wouldn't it? Here you go. Look. Be beautiful, wouldn't it? Because each of the colours just have a little bit of pattern. Oh, they've got them with a bit of pattern in. Beautiful. Who said that? Oh, yeah, Davinia, it's wrong. I've told them it's me on Sunday. It was originally going to be Vic's. Then it's me, because Vix is singing at the Grand Prix or something like that on Sunday. Uh, so it's me, but they've only changed half the menu on the website. So no, we're not sharing the day. Yes, you did write it, John. I'm starting MDing and directing Kinky Boots in September. Are you allowed to do Kinky Boots at school? I presume you are. That's Derek who does the, Sunday, uh, the Monday night sing-alongs on Facebook. Right, okay, moving on. I have these as cute as a button. Which would you like first? This is so, oh, this is so lovely. 
Oh, these have been on before? I didn't know that. How many have I got? Oh, I can open it. I'm going to see. Oh, I presume who had it last, the person who had it last time didn't open it because there's not one in the drawer. Here we go. Oh, look at these. $14.99. $14.99 these are. You get 20. Now this is, I love it. I love it. Look. Yeah. Right, hang on. Let's have a look then. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now look. So you obviously get four of the same of the very flamboyant unicorns on black. Right, then. Look, it's the same print, just on different colours. Look at the purple one or the lilac one. Lovely. Then you've got the pale pink one. They're beautiful, aren't they? Look. It's a bit like... Um, uh, like a carnival, isn't it? Like um, Mardi Gras, that's what I'm thinking, isn't it? And then look at the white ones. Unicorn Designs, you get 20 pieces, 14.99. Oh, they're lovely. Half the stock have gone. Oh, aren't they just cute as a button? We're loving. We're loving, loving, loving these. I'm just staring at them. I'm sorry. And also, I didn't know what you were singing or shouting, I mean. No, never heard of that. Joan says, John, you brighten my days. You make me laugh so much. I love you. Well, what have I said now, Joan? Who knows? Oh, Davinia, we haven't got this in half meters, I'm afraid. Have we got, hang on, let me have a look. Doesn't even say who it's by. Brand new. Uh, sorry, I haven't got that in half metres. You'd have to sew it together, Davinia, to make your tote bags. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's going to sell out. That's going to sell out, that one. Now, this one is the same, but different. This one's vehicles. Okay, so this has been on once before as well. So you've got little cars on cream. Oh, no, this one's different, though. This one's not the same. I was going to say, I'm not going to open it because it's the same printed, different colours. This one isn't, though. How many of these got to say? Oh, I've, no, I can't open it. Oh, I'm sorry, I put that shut. There's a still here. Oh, that's a very good picture, isn't it? So there you go. So you've got the little ditzy cars on the right on white. You've got scooters on black. No, the scooters on navy blue, sorry. Then the white one is like Jaguars. And, and a Volkswagen um, camper vans. And then the grey one is pink scooters. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, 20 pieces, remember. Very limited now, that one. has been very popular on um, pre-order, that one. It's not the most exciting of pictures, is it? But that means, is that one of our pictures, do you think? Don't know, because if it is, there should be one open somewhere, isn't it? Because that's not been opened, is it? I don't want to open it because I don't want someone to miss out, that's all. Okay, so those have been on before. What are you muttering about in there? Uh, now, the 10, no, not the 10 o'clock, the 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock specials are the same sort of thing. So the 11 o'clock is this one here. Shall I open it now if I'm doing a preview now? Oh, no, you can't buy this one now. You can't buy this one till 11. You can't buy this one till... I'll open it at 11. Look, you've got little houses. Oh, look, it's got the cars in. It's got the cars in from the last one. Then it's got clowns. What's that there? Chickens. Oh, this is cute. What's it called, this one? Home, this one's called. Home, James, home. So that one there is um, 
11 o'clock. And 12 o'clock is Hannah's favourite one. Look, now there was a lady in Tesco's yesterday wearing a full-on leopard print outfit, right? And she even had a mask to go with, her shoes matched and everything. That's at 12 o'clock, that one. But hang on, though. Oh, sorry. We've changed it. We've changed the order. 11 o'clock is cats. 12 o'clock is home. Do you have changed that? Because this was originally going to be in Rebecca Reed's hour. <laughs> right, OK. Let's move on. We've only got 10 minutes left. Yeah, I have Riley Baked Tennis Charm Pack here. Right. Uh, hi, John. I've often wondered if you want to... If you want to use design rolls for a hexi quilt, what size papers would you need? Oh, no, the hexi quilt I was talking about was when you make hexes out of triangles like this. That's what I was saying, was this one. That's what I was saying, you see, was make, you could make that one out of design rolls. That's what I was saying about hexes, right? Stripping hexes. But if you, if you use, uh, basically, if you want to use these, you could use, as long as it's smaller than two and a half inches, well, no, it has to be two inches wide. Anything smaller than two inch wide, you can get in because you need your quarter inch either side, don't you, if you seam allowance. So your cardboard, you can use two inches downwards on if you're going to make hexes like Rebecca Reed did earlier. Right, Riley Blake, this one's called Poppy and Posy. Been on once before with me. Joan says, hi, John, if I want to send in pictures, things I've made, do I send them on? Right, Joan, it depends. If it's something that we're talking about here and you want to highlight something from the show here, you have to email it and Hannah will get it. Or if you want everybody to see it, you put it on the Facebook fan page. That's the best way to do it. Jackie says, I've got the unicorn roll. Just think what to make with it now. Or your granddaughters are going to love it. Right, I'll show, I'll show you the pictures of all the things you get in here. Do you want me to find the open one? Well, we had three the other day when I was on with Kat that we kept. So I don't know if this was one of them. If I had it on with Kat the other day. No, no, no. It might have been one of the ones that went back, but we definitely opened three. It's just in one of those boxes on the shelves where you are there. That's where we put them. I just don't want to open this one if we've already got it open, that's all. If not, I'll open this one. Might not be there, hun. Oh, that's it. That's exactly the one. <laughs> Here we go. That's this one open. So I don't want to open, I don't have to open things if I don't need to, you see. Right, look. There you go. That's definitely that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's back. So here we go, look. No, 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 no. I, normally we would send them straight back, but I had a day with Kat the other day where we decided to keep all three of them. Beautiful, aren't they? All the pictures are on the back of the packaging, look. There's your daisies. Lovely, love that gorgeous ditzy print there. Then you've got the Nat West Bank. Or they're like those little silk e earrings or cufflinks that people make, aren't they? Then you've got the lovely stripes. Butterflies on blue. Butterflies on coral. Flowers on coral. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I'll put that in shot there. So, there's yeah, 42 pieces in here for 49.99. Aren't the colours lovely? Look. Oh, and then the green in here. Well, so, of course, we've got the white background. Oh, actually, I don't recognise that one. Look at that. Then I've got the white background. It's nice, isn't it? Look. Very vintage looking, isn't it? The ditzy on the white is beautiful as well. I'm saying white, it's like an ivory cream. But then look at this one. On all the others, 
The little uh, logo is just one colour, but this one you're in all colours like that. And then the greens are really lovely, rich green. I can show you that one there. Lovely, aren't they? Now the green, you don't get all the prints in, you just get a couple of the prints in the green. 49.99 that 10 inch layer cake or stacker. Now I've got another way of it. Now the warehouse didn't send up this morning, so we thought we couldn't show it. You, but Hannah's just found it in the place where I put these the other day. So um, I can show you this one now. Let's just get rid of that cardboard. There we go. Look at these. So there's all the different, there's all the different uh, prints you're going to get in there. 42 pieces, 49.99. Actually, have a look at the whole lot together. That's a good idea, Emma. Show that one first. There's all your prints, and I'll show you them for real. Sorry, let me move that back up. Got the lips, the swallows, little, oh, lovebirds. Hmm? Look! Beautiful, aren't they? The, the print on that is just lovely. That geometric print is just lovely, isn't it? Little Paul was going to get lovebirds one point in his life. He didn't. Well, that, that would have been about seven, eight years ago when I first met him. No, he wasn't going to buy lovebirds because he just met me. I didn't mean it like that, but it, it was one of the first stories he told us when we first met him, that was all. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous, right, I'll move on. I've got several books here. 25 ways to sew jelly rolls and layer cakes and charm packs. Yep. Modern quilts, this one. Modern quilts from contemporary pre-cuts. Hello from Sunny Hastings, says Jennifer. I'm in the hot tub. Honestly, we've got someone in a paddling pool, someone in a hot tub. Let me have a look. Have you got no clothes on at 10 o'clock in the morning, Jennifer? Your neighbours will be whatever. Right, look, quilts, projects, beautiful book this, 16.99. All about pre-cuts, how to cut them out and everything like that. Then look, summer petals. That, oh, these are pretty, aren't they? Circle squared with your templates there, flower gardens, crisscross patches. Oh, I'm loving this book. Merry-go-round. Uh, all the templates in here, all the right size, look, 100% template there. Uh, pretty pinwheels. Then we move on to twirling windmills. Not so sure about that one. With all your templates. Yeah, Jennifer, we can see you. Jennifer's gone, oh, like that. You've caught me. Square root. How's she doing texting when she's in a hot tub? Shuriken. 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 I'm just trying to, thinking all the different ways you could say it. Stars and stripes. Giant's Causeway. It's beautiful, this book. I won't go through all of them. But look, all your templates, everything are in there. Pro and then other projects, look. Other ideas, they're bigger, bold cushions. Jaunty. Gerbra bag charms. Loads in here. That's such a lovely book, 16.99. Gorgeous. Oh, especially in the next hour. 
is this one here. So in the beginning of the next ad, before Rebecca Reed starts, no, have I done it wrong again? No, no, that's right. That's right, that's right, that's right. This is a fact, this is end of stock now in these. That is my 10 o'clock special coming up straight after the break before Rebecca Reed starts her next project. It's not on pre-order, you can't buy that yet. But I want you to see which one. Yep. This is the Fat Quarter Bundle, Barley Hand Prints. Ten pieces, Lo you're loving it. When this is gone, we won't be recreating this, I'm afraid. There you go, all ten of them there. They're lovely, aren't they? £34.99. Aren't they gorgeous? Flipping lovely. Now, anything I haven't played, Hannah will play them through, so you'll see them all after the break. There's some books, there's some other Fat Quarter Bundles, the blues, and then a Fat Quarter Bundle I don't think I've seen before, called Abby's Treasure. Have I? Oh, OK. No, no, fell over. I wasn't rolling it, fell over. Lovely traditional colours in there. Anyway, do not go anywhere. Rebecca Reed is up after the break. Now, she's making these. There's one, that's a colourway you've not seen before. It's a mug bag, it's a tea bag holder, and it's a coaster, all in one. Uh, if we've got the other coaster, and also, in the past, you've asked for the other three colours, we've got them back, and we've also got the fatter quarters to go with them as well. A B one, a B one, a hexy one, a blue one, and uh, the other one. I'll see you in four. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing has been part of the Great British Heritage for thousands of years starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. 
We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. It's time for Hannah's pre-cut of the hour. We, we, she just said, we, <laughs> we didn't give you all to be practices for hours this morning. Are you ready? Go. Oh, okay, this is end of range, this is end of range now. When these have gone, we won't be able to replace them. These are fat quarters, they're Dan Morris, they're beautiful. Five of them, one, two, three, four, five, batik. Now, they're not batiks, are they? Oh, yes, they are. They're not. They are batik style that he has printed up in a digital print. That's what they are. We love Dan Morris prints, look. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you might want to go out again now, Emma. Yeah, because look, I'm going to do this. Loving these colours, aren't they beautiful? <coughs> Excuse me, she got all five of these. I've just eaten the blackberry, it's made me cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Quarter of the stock's gone straight into baskets. We cannot recreate this bundle. 18 pounds and 19 pence, you get five fat quarters. We only started launch, uh, we only started, um, yeah, I'll just say it in a better way. No, not getting it in. We're stocking. We only started stocking Dan Morris recently. Adagio in the purple, this is. Are you eating your lunch already? Yeah, Anna's eating her lunch, everybody, at five past ten. <laughs> Half the stock is in baskets now. Oh, the swoosh of the curtain woke up the, woke the dog up, says Linda. You've got two more of those. If the dog falls asleep again, there's two more of those. One at 11. I'm just telling Emma now, so she knows. One at 11 and one at 12. Yeah. It's a Hannah made-up special, this one. Yeah, before she asked, well, she didn't ask anyone. They've not noticed. It's fine. Beautiful. Dan, Marissa, Dargio, purple fat quarter bundle, five pieces. Half the stock has gone. People multi-buying. Well done, well done. Beautiful, aren't they? I love the fact that we've put that one here as well, which is a kind of contradiction to the other, but it works so well, doesn't it? If you were going to use them all together, I mean. Right, packing that away. 
because it's time for Amber Makes with Rebecca Reed. Now, this is a, a returning bestseller that we're doing in this hour. I'll just show you some pictures. It's like a little bag that you keep your mug in, and then there's a place to keep your tea bags in, and a coaster to put down so you don't... That's the Bumblebee version. That's the Hexy version. That's brand new today, that one. Uh, what the other two? There's Sewing Machine Vintage and <coughs> the blue one there. Beautiful, aren't they? Right, so where would you like to start, Hannah? Bumblebee, ver this one sold out first last time and loads have gone into baskets already. Right, just keep it on that picture for a minute. I just need to wipe my nose. Ooh. Here we go. So this is it in real life. Little bag here, cute little bag. I'm going to do it from the front, Emma. Look, there it is. And inside looks like a little drawstring with a thingy on there. And then inside, you put your mug in there, you keep your mug in there. And then, oh, there's even a tea bag in this one. Yeah, you don't get a tea bag in yours. Oh, I better not say what make it is. But there's beetroot with ginger, peppermint, and peppermint and licorice. They're your favourites. They They're very good for digestion, though. Where they? they come? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now, yeah, probably because your menopause is stuck. <laughs> Lo sent in a message earlier saying, as, as uh, Rebecca reads menopause stuff, I said, why? You, because you're liking grass and wood print and things like that. Oh, is that a symptom? I don't know. Lo would know because she's gone through it oh, out the other side. Oh, I see. Is that now, a symptom you know? if you like grass? I want them. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> if you want to make these, what you need is this mug bag set here. So you get the instructions. And then you get the panel <coughs> with absolutely everything on it that you could possibly need to make it. So there you go. Now, in, on pre-order, this has gone crazy. You've gone crazy for this one. All the bits are all labelled up. Your bumblebees are for free up there. Your labels down the side here for free. What's that strip for there? That's just a spare strip spare to bit do of whatever strip you want to do yep. with. Free strip. Half the stock of these have gone already. We know these are busy, but th this one's very, very busy. Busy bee, be happy. Beautiful, isn't it? All, everything you need is all. Do you need anything else, that like interfacing or anything? No. Like no. No. No, you don't need interfacing. You need a bit of wadding for the coaster. Oh, you need some wadding for the coaster. And a zip and for the zip. And you need a zip for the little pouch and uh, just some draw, a drawstring for the bag. Nothing major. Nothing major. So that's your bumblebee version. Where would you like to go next then? Vintage is next. Right, so this one, let me show you this one then. I'll show you from the front there, there you go. Little bag there. And you get, again, you can make the little bag, your tea bags and the little coaster. Right, and this one again, you get the instructions and the panel with all the old sewing machines on it. Look, I set my alarm for the animal print roll. What time are they on now, please? Oh, Ange, I'm so sorry. We had such a mess around with it. The, the next hour, 11 o'clock, we set it for 11 o'clock. I do apologize. <laughs> we, we got completely, none of us can take, uh, we're all wrong, we're all wrong, basically. Anyway, look. Uh, love the bee mug kit. I made it so I could take my fruit, tea bags and honey to work with me, says Shelley. Mm. There you go. So this one's got all the sewing machines on it and the needles and threads and the sewing machines and the dots. And this one's called So Happy, not Be Happy, So Happy, this one's called. Now we'll make that. Then I'm going to move on to... I'll wait for Hannah. The Hexy one, the brand new Hexy one. Brand new today. It's cute, do you want to see it from the bottom? Well, you can tell this one's new. This one's not been scrunched at the bottom of a box or anything. <laughs> yeah, that was all beautiful. All beauty made pressed. that. No, Hannah, you haven't had to put them all together yourself. Rebecca Reed has done it for you. Even the stitching is on the print. Wait till you see this. Come on, John. It's so brand new, I can't get the... There it is. And here's the panel. But look, they even got little stitches drawn on it. Do 
Brand new, brand new, brand new. Can you see the little stitches? No, the camera doesn't like them, but they're there. Yeah, if going back to classes, take your own mugs because you'll be using anyone else's mucky mugs, do you? I bring everything myself. Do I bring a knife, a spoon, a plate, <laughs> a fork, everything? Yeah, and I've been my own Tupperware dishes with my fruit in it. Let's stand there now. With fruit in it, everything like that. It is pretty, this one, isn't it, Claire? Then you've got the gingham. I love a bit of gingham. And then look. Oh! No words on this one. Oh, but that's because they're separate, aren't they? They're in a little panel. Yeah, but on the others had so be happy and so happy. Oh, right? sorry, on the um, the thing. No, yeah. it's just different. No words. I have no words. I have no <coughs> words. I have no voice either this way. Well, it's just different. It is different. Same but different. They were ever so good then, weren't they? Oh, there's a little pocket goes on the front. Look, the dits there. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, what would that one say? Hexy happy. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. When, when I saw those, I was thinking, what's she going to put to do with hexes? <laughs> or, I don't know. But anyway, that's beautiful. There it is. A finished thing there. It's not much Brand that new, rhymes with through. hexy, mm. is there? The what? There's not much that rhymes with hexy. No, sexy. <laughs> I know. Sexy, bexy. Sexy, bexy, hexy. Sexy, bexy, hexy. <laughs> Yeah, keep going through. I've not sold out. It's just we've got to get on to do some sewing, that's all. Oh, we don't have a picture of the blue one for some reason. Oh, did I not give... I sent him all the pictures this morning. Yeah, it's not oh, one well. on the... Not only you. No, the website, not you. The website. Oh. There you go. Oh, it's pretty. Now this one's called Rose Garden, you see. <laughs> go on, show it. Right, you do not get the mug. Uh, Please you do don't not get the, the mug. mug with it. Please don't mention the mug. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's lovely, isn't it? That's the blue one. The blue floral one. Blue roses, in fact. Oh, Sarah said, oh, sorry, I fell asleep in the pool. What have I missed? Well, don't be falling asleep in a pool. pool. In the paddling pool. <laughs> oh, no, so hexy. Or feeling hexy, Christine said. Oh, I like that feeling hexy. Yeah. Mm. So that's beautiful. Now, as I'm, because I'm putting them away, but we will recap them. They're not sold out. You don't think, oh, he's putting them away, it's sold out. Because I've got, we'll let you know, we'll let you know, because it was because of these <laughs> that people <laughs> asked about why don't you do matching fabric. So very quickly, Rebecca and Amy have done matching fabric. So we've got the Bumblebee one here. So these are, they were supposed to be fat quarters, but they're too big for fat quarters, aren't they? Look. First time you've ever seen these. In the bumblebee, so you've got the bumblebee print there, 50 by 70. You've got that lovely um, little bumblebee from above, 50 by 70. That one is so cute, isn't it? That one there. And then we've got the, the mustardy, honey coloured one there. So you get four of those. But also, look, 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 look. These all come here. Be happy, be happy, bees. I, this took forever, I made these. You get all of those as well for your 19 .99. Now you don't need these, that's a project within itself. This is just extra if you want to make some extra things to go with. <clears throat> so that's the bumblebee one. Now do we say bumblebee or honeybee? We've called it bee. What have we called it? I think we called it busy bee. Busy bee. I think. Right, okay. So that's that one. Then we'll go on to the um, vintage one. Very popular vintage one. So again, it's the fact, because this, imagine all the things you can make for your sewing room. Yeah, or, if you, or now you've done, you've used this in other projects as well, haven't you? In the um, <coughs> craft storage set and the needle cases. Needle case or craft storage set. You can make other things to go with this. So you've got the sewing machine vintage there. You've got the baby sewing machine there. Again, 50 by, se 50 by 70. And then you've got the icons here, the sewing icons on the on the cream. Oh, that's nice, Anna, thank you. Anna's just blown her nose, everyone, so you know. <laughs> and there they go. Beautiful. Very, very popular. Oh, 19.99. <clears throat> and again, you get the sewing machines at the top there. And the So Happy logo and everything for 19.99. I am rushing because I know the time and you want to get to see some sewing and things. 
So now the next one is the hexes, brand new today. Well, all of these are brand new today, but this is a brand new print that you're seeing today. You see, I can imagine so many of you wanting this for all sorts of projects in your, in your house. Yeah, cushions or anything. So, 70 by 50 gingham, 70 by 50 beautiful essence of Tilda. <laughs> That's a funny little thing. And then, two lots of hexes, right? So the white, uh, the smaller one, and the larger one. Beautiful, aren't they? And then again, you get all of these. What do you get on the top of this one? Oh, look. So you actually get hexes on this one. This is exclusive to us and Amber Makes. It is. It? it is, yes. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's, there's, uh, ta 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 The B mug kit. Fewer than 20 of those left. <coughs> the B mug kit. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. B mug kit, look, fewer than 20 of those. Okay, that's that one. And then, uh, yeah, there you go. No, keeping you informed, that's all. Then we've got the rose fat quarter. The blue rose, 70 by 50 again. Exclusive again. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh, that's nice. Because <coughs> that's a bigger version than you see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is nothing to do. This is nothing to do with the, with the actual uh, bundles to make the bag. This is on top of extra. Oh, wait, so people confused. That's what. Oh, 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 sorry, I didn't see that. Right, so yeah, so you don't need this to make the bag. You just, this is just e extra. If, you, if you're baking this, now, have you used this fabric for anything else as well? Like that? No. So they might not, so if you want to make things for your work yes, room. Yes, but we haven't used that, no. Then the, or, or it doesn't even have to be your work room, does it? It could be any, anything, like a tote bag. Yeah. To take mm. to your class, or a ruler bag, or anything to like that. Yeah. Because these are nice big 50 by 70 pieces. Well, that's cushions, beautiful. cushions, can't you? Four, that's four cushions. Well, yeah, I'm just, I was just thinking, though, because if you're on the move here. Yeah. Or if you have cushions in the car. Or, you want, nice or if you just want a bigger carry-all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking bags. that you go to your class with your mug and your yeah. tea bag and your honey in here. And you can make a tote bag. A tote bag or your the ruler bag mm. or something like that. Or a hat, Hannah or says. A hat. Or a hat. <laughs> or a patchwork skirt. I, I'm sorry, pardon? A patchwork skirt. Oh, yeah, you could. There's enough there. <laughs> uh, fat quarter skirt. Squirt, even. A squirt. Yes, if you've got Catherine Wright's fat quarter skirt pattern, do that as that. Mm. Right, I'm now going to be quiet. <laughs> Have we done all of them? I've done everything. Now you've got to do some sewing. Oh, OK. No worries. Um, so if you haven't used one of our panels before, let me just give you a quick guide to them. So the, this one is the Busy Bee one, because that's just the one that I happen to have. Now, if you look at all of them, I'm going to stand in the right place this time. There we go. People are wondering who you are because you've gone all formal. Oh, well, formal. <laughs> <laughs> if you've not used one of our panels before. If you've not used one of our panels before. Um, I can be formal sometimes. It's OK. My it only God. lasts about 10 minutes, though. OK. Um, if you, the most important thing you do to start with is cut it out. Every, it says all of that in the instructions. But if you look at them, on the top <clears> of <throat> each piece is a little label. Now, although you think you'll remember, you won't. Okay. And I'm going by me because I don't, and I think I know it. When you cut out the piece, the seam allowance is all in there, so all you've got to do is cut out around the little sort of dark grey line around the edge. Cut the label off and pin it to the, cent to the top of it. Then right. you know which piece is which and which way up it is. Because it's quite important because some of these are just off squares or rectangles. So cut everything out first. Everything is labelled, the whole lot. Now, if you want... What's those little, sorry, what's those, I've noticed those, those little... Oh, I'm going to show you now. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you now. If you want to embellish it at all, so the good thing about these is that you can embroider them, you can applique on them. So say, for example, um, you want to applique or embroider over the B that's on the um, little zip purse, do that before you cut it out because then you can put it in an embroidery hoop and it's just a bit easier. So if you want to do anything like that, do that beforehand. Okay. Um, now, on the mug mat, 
there are little labels because when we put the little tea bag label that came out of the cup, it depends on whether you wanted tea or coffee or whatever. So what you do is you, if you look at the, you'll see them on your coasters. I'm looking at you. Is you cut out the label you want. So there's tea, coffee or hot chalk. And then you, um, you can use Bondaweb or just pin it on and then sew it on top of there. Oh, I see, on here. So if you sew it on top of the label, then you can personalise it. Or you could embroider the person's name. So say Emma. you're making this as a gift for someone, you could embroider their name on that section. Can you see that from up all the way up there? <laughs> so I think that one says tea. Yeah, it does. So, but what happens if you drink tea in the morning and coffee in the well, afternoon? Well, don't know. You'll have to, you could have a removable label. And Hannah says, where is the label for caramel cortado? <laughs> Wrong cup. You would never carry um, a Well, you can have that, that but you'd have to embroider that on. Yeah. So you could put someone's name maybe. on. So I would say before you, if you're going to do any of this, it's best to do that first. Yeah. It's just easier when it's on a bigger piece of fabric. But what I did with these little labels, I put a bit of Bonder Web, stuck it on and then yeah. sewed it on. But okay, that's perfect. Up to you. So do that first. Cut out all the pieces and don't forget to label them. Otherwise, you won't know. The strip that you've got down the edge here is just a spare strip because it was a spare bit of fabric and we like to fill them up with bits. Of course. The B that's on the top here, I use that to applique to the pocket of the mug bag. But you don't have to. Okay. So you can use that, you know, it just tell you you've got it there, it's for free. So if you want to do that, it's easier to do that in advance. Yeah. So that's what you do with the panel, but don't forget to label it all first. Then what you do is you make the pocket, which I have made in advance. So as you can see, it, there's, it's just two squares that you sew right sides together and then turn outside, it's just a, a square. So if you want to do the applique, do that first. You can see how I've labelled that because you're never going to remember, are you? No, I'm afraid the pattern's not available on its own, Sharon. And Suzanne says, Hannah, she sent in a picture of how she adapted the mug bag kit to make something different. Oh. Yeah. I mean, she you could use she's got it. it you could use it for a lunch bag. It'd fit an egg sandwich and a packet of crisps, and there's nothing more you need, really, is there? So, pin the pocket. You don't have to have a pocket, but I quite like a pocket. You can put something in that. To the front. It tells you in the instructions where to put it. Right. So I've pre-marked mine. To and what's save the pocket time. for? What you put in your pocket? Your sugar. You could put your sugars in it, couldn't you? Um, Little sachets. I don't of sugar. know. I just like a pocket. Don't know. Pocket's entirely optional. Milk in a tube, apparently. Milk in a tube, whatever. But you know, this doesn't, because I've designed it so it's got that drawstring top, it doesn't have to be for a mug. Oh no, but also, you know those posh biscuits you get, like the two biscuits and little wrapper? Yes. Yeah. And they've got like a, not a ginger, they've got a kind of, um, I don't know what flavour. Oh, they I are. know what, yes, what are they called? They're called cafe cremes or something like that, aren't they? Or, you know, mm. they. You know what I mean. Because I thought with this one, you know, you quite often give somebody a mug as a gift, don't you? Yes. And then what do you wrap it in? But if you made them this, then you could put, you know, their favourite biscuit in yeah, there yeah, or yeah, yeah. something. And it's quite a nice gift for somebody with a mug because if you buy someone a mug, it's just a mug. But if you make them a whole bag, it's a real gift. Someone isn't bought it? me, oh, I can't remember who it is now. I think, see, I've got it in my, my workroom. Um, a really lovely one, a, like version of this, yeah. And then you've got it. Yeah, for, forever. Forever. But you don't have to, I mean, you can use it. It's quite good for so little sewing projects, these mm -hmm. bags. So if you've got a little embroidery project on the go. So then sew this on, which I will do. So I'm I do some sewing, actual, I'm going to do some sewing. I, did, I didn't manage any last time. You've been gardening? Why? Looks like you scratched your finger. Oh, um, yeah, I did do a bit, but I'm, A, I'm rubbish at gardening, and B, I hate it. Ooh, oh, that's not liking that, is it? I wonder why that is. It sounds like you're, you've got your bobbin thing pushed across. Oh. <laughs> I'm not used to these machines. You know, you use your own. Yeah, my machine actually, I think, tells me when you've done that. You forget, don't you? And it's like mine, mine lifts up. So just a, little just a little top stitch all the way along. And a top stitch is just a stitch that's worked a little bit in from the edge. I yeah. usually do my top stitches about three mils, an eighth of an inch, but there's no hard and fast rule. That's up to you. Which, what bobbin have you got in there? Which bobbin? A red one. Oh, OK. Sounds like there's a wrong bobbin in it. So. No, it's that red one in that box you found yeah. me, where you said, oh, there's a red one. Yeah. Are they better with it's red ones, then? my fault, yeah. That's <coughs> sewn all right, actually, isn't it? So, so it's just making that noise where it's going, oh, I'm not 100% happy not, with this. Yeah, maybe that's because I threaded it up earlier. So there's the pocket. That's really easy. Um, then you're going to make the gusset. I love that word. Gusset. They're my favourite words. 
very old fashioned word. It's just a great, it is a great word, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So on the um, gusset, well, actually, I call them outers. You've right. got the base and two sides, and you sew these together in a long strip. But what you've got to remember to do um, is start and finish sewing. The seam allowance is a centimetre in here, a centimetre for the top and the bottom at each end right. to make um, joining it together a lot easier. So don't forget to do that and do reverse stitch. So what I do is I just mark a centimetre with a um, heat pen, friction pen, you can do it with a pin or a pencil, and then just reverse stitch either end and sew them together like that. It just makes sewing it on together a lot easier. Right, yeah. So that's your, you've now got a long gusset. This is so easy. And you see, I've got my, now I can take my labels off because I know that that's the side. So I'm going to show you how to sew this on. When you sew something like this, like a gusset to an outer, have the gusset on the top because then you can see where you need to stop for the seam. If you have the outer on top, you can't see. Okay. So when you do anything like this, I mean, this is quite a decent size. If you're doing something really fiddly, it's good to know. Make sure that the seam allowance on here reaches to the bottom of there. Now you're only going to sew up to the seam. So I always pin either side of it and it just holds those both in place because then you're going to pivot. And if you've pinned it at this stage, it holds it. Right. So just using a one centimeter seam allowance, which luckily is marked on here. Ooh. So all the way down to the seam. And when you get nearer the seam, go a bit slower. And then just stop your machine so the needle is actually in the seam itself and then lift the foot and then twiddle it round and pin the other end of the seam allowance to the other end like so mm -hmm. and then i always when it's a, it's a, you know it's quite a decent size this one but if you're deal if you ever do anything using this method something smaller all the pinning really helps I always pin on both seams and then just pin in the centre. And then just arrange this, make sure it's all nice and flat underneath. And because you've left the top and the bottom of that seam unsewn, it bends beautifully. If you don't, it's hard to get it to go around the corner. Right. So although it takes a bit of extra time sewing those seams and starting and finishing, mm -hmm. it just bends round a bit better. Yeah. And then you can sew all the way to the other end. You'll just get neater angled corners that way and then when you get down to the other end keep going and stop so your needle is in the seam and pull it around so this method when you make bags of doing this you can use this method for instead of doing box corners it sort of does the same thing as a yeah. box corner but it works better when you've got wider gussets like this and there's less maths involved. Yeah. So just always make sure you flatten all that out because otherwise it gets a bit caught in that corner. And then sew down to the other end. I love the drawstring top because I can fit in my wee bottle of milk. Yes, that's uh, true. This is in Aberde Mrs. in Aberdeenshire. Well, the drawstring top is that, you know, a lot of people, if you don't want to be putting zips in or fastenings, um, it's just a really useful way. It, it gives you more space mm -hmm. as well, doesn't it? And also, I mean, it's a, it's a technique that once you've got the instructions, you can use for other things. So say you've made a tote bag and you want to make it a little bit more secure so that people can't get their hands in it, mm. you could put that drawstring top in a tote bag. It's quite yeah, simple yeah, yeah. to do. Yeah. So once you've seen this and you know, you've got the instructions, you can adapt any bag to this. So there's the front joined on there. And then we need to join the back on which I have pre-labelled. So I've got to do that, unfortunately. Turn it back out. And remember, make sure the gusset section is on top. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you won't know where to stop. Now, Hannah's saying, I think you might be a bit late, Hannah, for that. Hannah's just saying, if you're quick, maybe you could do them as end-of-term gifts, but you couldn't, because by the time you got them, they're going to have broken up, aren't they? Could do them as welcome back in the new term, yeah. September. Yeah, they'd be nice. For, well, I just think, you know, it's have, if you... I always say if you buy somebody something, like a, something small, if you make a little bag to put it in with their name on, oh, yeah, it suddenly definitely. looks like an amazing present, mm -hmm. doesn't it? 
you don't have to spend so much on the main present because people are so overawed by the fact you've made them a bag. <laughs> overawed, is Over, that the word? Overawed that you've actually made them a bag as well. And with this as well, you know, you can, you could embroider their name on the pocket. Yeah. Of the bag, should you want to. Right. I'm doing it properly. Ooh. At least you'll know how to make do this because I've got to do this so many times. Because you go up. Well, I always think, you know, when I'm repeating things, it's a bit boring to watch, isn't no, it? No, we have new cu new customers and new viewers every single day. Somebody will be like, who's the woman in the green frock yeah. sewing that thing? I've never sewing seen that. one of these before. I've never seen, I've never seen that thing. Well, no, it's just I've sh I'm having to do this corner thing so many times. Oh. But you can use it. I do apologise. You can use it for lots of yes. different techniques. Yes. Transferable skills. And all that. Right. I'm nearly there. And then when you get to the end, don't forget to reverse stitch because that's kind of important. Stops coming undone. Right. So now we've got the bag outer uh -huh. done with the pocket. What I would do now is I would press these seams open. And that's something people say is, how do you press them open when they're like this? Well, you it's quite hard because you'll end up squishing everything else. So when I've got something this that you can't really press open unless you've got a sleeve board or something, uh -huh. I just press one side over. Right. Which is enough to make, if you just press it like that, that's enough for when you open it out for it to be pressed open. Yeah, or you get the ironing finger that we've got. I don't oh, know the ironing stock finger. At the moment. That's brilliant for things like that. Yeah, just to get in there. Well, the mini iron. We had the mini iron on Monday. I love the mini iron. Oh, I saw you doing that. It's nice, yes. isn't it? Yeah. So you could use it for it's that. It's not the mini iron that you're used to. It's called the adapter. The iron, the oh, iron that is little... called the adapter number two, yeah. So you can, but I just fold them like that and press them. And also I wouldn't clip the corners because, although you normally do for things when you do corners, it gives that a little bit of extra strength and body. Yeah. So that's the outer. Okay. Now you make the lining in exactly the same way. But luckily, I did that already. Oh, good. Because that would be Lynn boring. says, oh my goodness, massive thank you to Rebecca. I've just changed from using a quilting needle to a milliner's needle, doing my EPP. Oh. It's a game changer. <laughs> it, on, honestly, it is. When I discovered that, it's massively mm. different. When you make the lining, do it in exactly the same way. Obviously, it doesn't have a pocket, but leave a little gap in the centre of the base li lining on one side. doesn't matter which side, because okay. you're going to use that for turning. So there we go. Now we go, I'm going to show you how to do the drawstring top. So you get this big piece of fabric, this big strip, and I've done this bit in advance. It's all in the instructions. It's all in instructions. You don't need to remember any of this. This is just me showing you what happens. I think I've sewn all stuff. So what you do is these are the edges of it. You turn them ov over twice and hem them. Uh -huh. And then one of the long edges you turn it over and uh, twice again, but with different measurements, and then you sew that down. That's what the case, the cord is oh, going to okay, go through. Right. Yeah. So that's your casing. So look, there's a gap in there. Yeah. That's your casing, and those are your hems. Then you have to put that to one side, so you've got to do that, and then you make the handles. Handles are really simple. They are just strips of fabric that you sew together to make a tube and press and then top stitch. Uh-huh. Really simple. So what you've got to do first is put the drawstring on. You've got to get this on. Let me just, I'm just pretty, let me make sure I've got that in the right order. You know how like you think, um, no, you don't actually. All right. You put the handles on first. I got a message away from Jane here. Already made the rose okay. garden set. It was really easy to make following the great instructions. So I've ordered the Busy Bee kit as well from Jane in West Yorkshire. Oh, that's nice. And Christine Thank you, Jane. says uh, she was taught that top stitch, it was called top stitching if it was the width of your foot and edge stitching Ooh. if it was right on the edge. Ooh. Mm. But you can choose where you put your top yeah. stitching, yeah. can't you? I think that's factory settings. That's probably that proper. Yeah. That's probably yeah. like professional rather yeah. than made up. Yeah. So first of all, I lied, you put the handles on first. We've got to get this in layers. Yeah. So you pin these on. Now when I do my handles, because you, you sew your fabric together in half right sides together to make a tube and then you turn it right sides out. I always then press them so that you can't see on here, but the, yeah, seam, the seam yeah. is running down the centre. And not down the Not side. down the edges because it removes that sort of bulk. And also, it, I think it's harder to get the seam to lie exactly on the edge. So I was doing that. So put mm -hmm. them right sides facing. You've got to measure in the instructions. It tells you 
how far from the side seams the edge of the handle goes, which is one and a half centimetres. Okay. So right sides together, put that on. And then the other side, pin that one on. It should measure it each time. I mean, you can put your handles where you want, to be honest. It's just I decided that I usually pin them on and then hold it up and see if it works. Yeah. Match the raw edges and pin that one on. Make sure at this stage that it isn't twisted. Okay. Because that's quite annoying when it is. Yeah. I speak from experience. Okay. <laughs> Now, what I do as well is that I find sometimes when you sew these handles on, then they sort of go skewy like that. Right. So Skewy, I like what? Skewy, like what? Like that. Like, like that. squiffy. We won't watch you. That's it. Perfect. Thank Bit you. Bit squiffy. Yeah. Even though you've pinned it at the top. So mm -hmm. what I always do, just because it annoys me when I've got to undo it, is I measure the same distance a little bit further down and I pin it there. Right. And then I do that on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, because look, it's going squiffy. It's going squiffy. Because that will, because yeah. even though you've got the pin, once you sew that on, it can still go squiffy. Yeah. And also, I'm going to say to tack this on, but even if you tack it, you have to tack within the seam allowance, yeah. and then it can still go squiffy. That's the technical term for handles not being straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to pin it down here. Um, so what you do now is just tack it I can't be bothered to tack it by hand there's no point anyway uh -huh. so I do the seam allowance is one centimeter so just do it vaguely within the seam allowance if you're tacking by hand doesn't matter the way you do it because you're going to take it out I'm going to go all the way across now what I I do next is because when you um you're going to have a lot of layers going on here you're going to have the handles then the drawstring cover and then the lining. And when you turn it all side out, I often get poked by the pins. Yes. So I sew these on. <laughs> You're going to be really strange. Like, you sew what on? I'm going to sew these handles on. So what I'm going okay. to do is lengthen my stitch to long. Yeah. And then where I've pinned them on, no stoppings, because this, well, this, like, this is like hand tacking. Yes. Because I'm going to take these stitches out later. But the number of times I've turned my bag right side oh, out. Oh, I see what you mean. And yes. then I've pricked myself. Yes. And also, that's better than pinning. So if you lengthen your stitch length, you must. I never forget. Do you always? Do you ever do that? Never, ever forget. Remember to put it back down again. Always. Um, Wendy Orlando's watching. <gasps> she said, "Squiffy, you two are showing your age." Oh. <gasps> she could talk. We're both younger than her, aren't we? Yeah. How is squiffy an old word I anyway? Know. Is it? Well, <laughs> she's thinking about Squiffy when she's had too much to drink. Yeah. She's thinking. Yes. That's because she's an old lush, isn't it? Yeah. So, look, there you go then. And you'll take those out later. Okay. Now, then you do the other handle on the other side, which I'm not going to do. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I need to ask Wendy Orlando a question. Wendy mm -hmm. Orlando, mm -hmm. are you expecting some purple fabric? There's some purple fabric arrived this morning saying for Wendy. And we don't know if it's for Wendy Orlando or for our Wendy oh, Gardner, okay. our presenter Wendy. Um, it hasn't got a name, it hasn't got a label in it. Yes, yeah, so so if you could message us. If you could message me in, let in me know if, if you expect some purple <laughs> yeah. fabric. On Facebook. Yes. <laughs> email. Yeah, email, Facebook. Studio at so Yeah, all right, get on with the same. <laughs> so then do the other handle on the other side, which I won't do at the moment, but right. it's exactly the same position. Now we're going to put our drawstring cover on. Right. So in the centre of the back, you can have it wherever you like, but I put them in the centre of the back. Um, put the, to me you can just fold the back piece in half and pop a pin in to find the centre, or you can measure it, mm -hmm. whichever you prefer. So the end that has um, the hem, not that end, the raw end, yeah. put it right sides together and put one of the short end on where that pin is. Right and then pin it together all the way round. When you reach the side seams, just to keep them nice and flat, oh, let's get my pins, um, hold those open. Now you'll be pinning on top of the handles at this stage, right. which is why it's really useful to have tacked your handles and not pinned them, otherwise you'd have too many pins. Oh, she's not for her. 
I don't think it's for me. I'll check. <laughs> and you know I don't drink, so you wouldn't find me squiffy. Can you imagine her? She drank. She's back I don't, in I don't think life. Wendy needs to drink. No. <laughs> Although it would be fun. Yes, to watch. <laughs> to go out. Can you imagine going out on a cocktail night with Wendy? She's planning one, I think, for, for all the guests that live down south. We're oh. not invited. We're not invited. I live in the southwest. Does that count? No, you need oh. to live near her seaside town. Well, that's fine. We can stay. John and I will bring a tent, Wendy. Uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> we'll News sleep. To me. We'll sleep on the back lawn. We won't. <laughs> I don't mind a tent. Hannah, do you want to come? Yes. Yeah, no, you. she's fine, thanks. She'll only go if there's free alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it's the free alcohol, Wendy, and can me and Hannah bring a tent? Yeah. Yeah, she's up for that. She's not, I don't think she'd be very good at, at, on the tent. Because she gets allergic to dust in here. Imagine if she'd be like <laughs> on a, in a garden in the tent. Um, when you get back to where you started, yeah. you're going to overlap. Right. That's the point. So the reason, take out that pin there and just overlap it. And this is great because there's no, you don't have to measure and make sure it fits because it overlaps. Just keep going. But the reason that it overlaps is because it, it gives you a little bit of security then. Whereas, so, you know, if you wanted to use this method... If you were making a tote bag, all you've got to do is measure around the top of it, and then I've got a bit of an overlap, yeah. which I will tell you what it is. It's a two and a half inch overlap. She says you're very welcome. You can stay in the shed. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Then. <laughs> oh, there'll be spiders in the shed, though. I don't it? think there will be somehow. No, no. I bet she hoovers. Yes, yeah, she probably does. <laughs> Excellent. I'm looking forward to the party. Yeah. Um, so if you wanted to do this method for something else, just measure all the way around the top and then just have an overlap. It means that when you've got your drawstring, it's just a bit of extra, yeah. extra security because if it was like that, it would gape open. So that's the reason. So that's the drawstring. Now, I would tack that on as well, which I know seems like a lot because we still haven't finished. Yeah. Again, but it, you know... It's just easier when you're. I just always find when I'm trying to sew many layers together mm -hmm. that one of them slips. Oh yeah, no, it's always better to. Always better. Is to it? Tack, I always yes. thought it was just me being a bit. No, um, no, because like you say, you put when you're working away. If you then get to the end and it's all squiff, squiffy or out of line, oh. you just think, oh, I've got to start all over again. And then you lose. Like, oh, can I be bothered? I'm, I'm picking all of it, or you know, it's kind well, of. Well, I know. I I always think I'd rather. I'm, even though it takes longer to do this, I just so hate unpicking. It's soul destroying, isn't it? Yeah. And um, and I know you know a lot of it's it's up to you. A lot of people don't tack, or some people don't even pin. No. And some people don't tack, and some people don't press. I mean, and you know, there's no right or wrong. It's no. just that I really hate unpicking, and I. If I'm sewing any more than two layers together, I always tack them. And I, but if you machine tack, it doesn't take long. No, exactly. And most of the time, you can leave the stitches in anyway. If you do it within well, the I seam always allowance. do it within the seam allowance because yeah. um, I'm definitely not unpicking machine tacking stitches. No. Can you imagine? Um, Lauren's not feeling very well. Take care. Get better soon, Lauren. Oh, poor Lauren. Lie on the sofa. Watch the telly under a blanket. Lie in front of the telly. Lie on the sofa. Watch the telly and lie under a blanket. Aww. I think it makes you be feel better, just the thought of that. So now we've got handles. We will, I'll put the other Inside, one later. Yep. We've got um, drawstring and now we're going to put lining. And the lining has to go right sides together. So make sure your lining is inside out like that. Right. Then you can pop that inside. Right, but what might confuse you is you just said right sides together. The main bag oh, is sorry, right Sorry, the main, together. yeah, ignore the... The but drawstring's got to be in. In, but right, that's the wrong side. Yes, up. but the right side of the bag outer and yeah. the lining. What you've got to do is match up the seams, which you can't see right. because you've got the drawstring, but you can see them if you um, if you look over, you yeah. can see them. I'm just going to ask Hannah a favour, just to move whatever it is you're scrunching away from the microphone, please. Is she very, being, is she being very loud in my What's ear? What's she eating? Not, no, it's not food. Um, I know, surprisingly, it's not food. It's not food. <laughs> oh, she said she'd love to, but she'd rather have her bed. She's not feeling too well. Oh, God. Oh. That's oh. Electric blanket. 
It depends how hot it is. Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, don't you Sweat know. it out. Have you got an electric blanket? No, I haven't. Oh, I absolutely love mine. No, the Best bedroom has to be ever. freezing cold. Yeah, but cold bedroom, electric blanket, it's like the perfect combination. You know, when I when I shared the house with Dulcie, my friend Dulcie, mm. who was a student, she had an electric blanket. She said she was having a dream one night. The bed was on fire. It was. <laughs> She, she used to leave it on. Leave oh, it. no, I, I do. We're going back to the 80s. We're not talking about now. We're doing early 80s, but yeah. Mine, I, I put mine on an hour timer, so but it when, goes off. But when is it that cold in your house that you need to help? Oh, it's winter? just so lovely. Wow. Well, we always have to have the windows open and the heating turned off in the bedroom. My husband thinks he's camping every day, honestly. No, no, I have the windows open in the bedroom. Well, not the moment. So it's that electric there. blanket's lovely. Yeah. So match the seams, because, look, if you look on the inside, you can see them. Yeah. Um... To get them nicely matched, poke a pin through this side yeah, and then turn it over and see if it's hit that side. You know you can get an electric blanket that's hot on your side and cold Oh yeah, no we have and his is always turned off. Oh okay. So it's half and half yeah. and he's never ever used his half. Oh. And sometimes when he has cold feet, he puts them on. I go, get off. Yeah. Oh, no, no, if yeah. he wants to do his toes. Yeah. Sorry, if you want to be warm, you turn your own side yeah, except on. except that he's about four foot taller than you oh, are. So <laughs> it's you to put it in the bit where you're not in. Yeah, you? that's true. But you can set mine so it has a different temperature at the top or the toes. Oh, my So you can goodness. just have toes. Oh, just. There's something lovely. I love it when, like, November hits and you can light the fire and put your electric blanket on. Oh no, like I do occasionally, I do uh, have a hot water bottle. Very, very rarely though. That's the same as having an electric blanket. Yeah. It goes it's my version of a bath. I hate having baths. I haven't had a bath. In fact, I've never had a bath in the house we live in. We've been there 15 years. Oh my goodness. Just wash everyone, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, after a while, I just don't need to wash anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just hate them. I get all hot and Irritable. I only like it because we've got no minutes, but I only like a bath if it's big enough to be able to sit in the bath in my house. It's, it, it's this big. Oh, so you it? like that in it. So it's, it's not relaxing in the slightest bit. So now I've pinned that together all the way round, yeah. I can sew it. Okay. Also, I don't like the way the bath kind of magnifies what's going on underneath as well, doesn't it? No, that's why you have bubbles. <laughs> yeah. You sort of or badidas, make the water green. Because you sort of in. look down and go, no, yeah. really? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> do you? Do not do that. <laughs> I like a nice shower. Yeah, me too, nice power shower. So now, because I have um, tacked everything, in advance, this is really easy, and I know everything's going to stay nice and lovely and straight now. Yeah. Hello, John, Rebecca, and crew, loving the show. John, can you please wish my husband Colin Potts a very happy 43rd wedding anniversary? Love, Ruth <gasps> in Durham. 43rd? Uh, Colin, 43, 43 years. years. That's really impressive. Oh, oh, congratulations. Have a lovely day. How long have you been married? Well, it's my my anniversary this year. 25 years. Oh. That's why I'm not here that first week in August. You're going to a festival for your anniversary? No, no, that's the end of August. Oh, okay. No, you know, oh, you're doing... I'm doing two for you, aren't I? Forgetting all this. Yeah, you're yeah. doing the 2nd of August because my um, 25th wedding anniversary is the 3rd and we're going to the Shetland Islands. Oh, lovely. Always wanted to go there. It takes a long, it's a long, it's like going to Norway, it's miles away, yeah, it is isn't it? Can't wait, wait though. Oh, you have a lovely time. I want to go to Fair Island and do a knitting course, but you wasn't up for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we go to the Shetland Diamonds yeah, instead. No. Right, so there we go. You sew it all the way, and then remember that little gap we left? Yeah. And because I haven't put any pins in, I won't get my... You don't get stabbed? I yeah. won't get stabbed. Remember, my bag only has one handle on it before of you course, think I've yeah. gone wrong. My bag, that's a song, isn't it? My bag's only got one my handle. Bag's my husband said he married me for my electric blanket, and I married him because he had his own set of ladders. So <laughs> Sally. <laughs> and Jane says, loving the show this morning. Love Rebecca's dress, and you look dapper, John. Thank oh, you, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Glad you like my dress. I love my dress. Very popular, your dress mm. today, isn't it? I've had it years, actually. Yeah, I can tell. I bought it from White Stuff. Other stores are available. Other stores are available, yeah. But that's why I bought it. It's got birds on. Yeah. So, if we had now, there we go. And then all you do for that uh, for that end, you can slip stitch it, or just I just put it under the machine and top stitch it okay. closed. Push that to the inside. There we go. And then your drawstring. 
you just thread a piece of cord or ribbon. We do have cord available. On the website? On the website, and you just thread it all the way through and then thread the ends through one of those little cord stoppers. You don't have to use a cord stopper, but um, it just holds Makes it more it easier, secure. Yeah. Um, and then that gathers all of that up and you push that inside. Then what I do is uh, move the handles out of the way. Oh, don't forget no, to undo, to your, don't forget to unpick your tacking stitches, yeah. which are quite easy because if Let you me. use a long stitch length, then they're easy enough. So undo those. In fact, they just undid. Push the handles up out of the way. Give this all a good press, mm -hmm. by the way. And obviously I've not done it very nicely pressed. Move that out of the way. And then I top stitch along the top. So really close to the edge. Edge like, stitch. Uh, sorry, edge stitch. And then I top stitch. So I do two lines. Oh, okay. Um, that holds the drawstring in a little bit. Oh, yeah. And it also strengthens the handle. So if you look at the one that you, well, any of the ones you've got, you can see that that's got the... Um, can you see that, Emma? The sort of the double row. And I just think by it makes the drawstring sit within. Yes, so the drawstring's caught inside there, and then you've got your edge stitch there, and I won't show that bit there, because the there you go. But it sort of holds the drawstring within a bit. Yes, you know, it's good. Well, it also means that the drawstring won't roll, that this yes. bit won't keep rolling out, well, it'll keep it in its place. So that was really quick, wasn't it? I mean, obviously, I didn't put the other really? handle on. I've, I've got a picture to show you. There you go. This is somebody, was it Suzanne, did we say? Oh, who, who made it? Yeah. Here's my adaptation of the oh. mug rug panel. I didn't need a mug rug bag, but I like the fabric. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, so she's made it into a pin cushion and then just a little, like, storage. Oh, uh, and a coaster for a tea, obviously. That's brilliant. Suzanne, that's absolutely brilliant, that I one. love that. What a good and idea. And you can get the fatter... The fatter quarters now and make, to make something other else, things. bigger boxes yeah. to go in your room and everything. So that was really quick, wasn't it? Thank you very much indeed, Rebecca. So when do we see you next, then? Monday. Um, I'm on Monday. Presenting. Presenting for Yarn Lane. Just Yarn Lane? No, it's no, it's not Yarn No, it's not Monday, is it? I am in on Monday presenting for Sewing Street. She's in here Sorry. at Sewing Street. I'm on here Monday. on Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's in here on Monday. I'm yeah. here on Monday I'm presenting. off next week. I'm yes. off next week because I'm at Pavers. So but I am on here on Monday. Brilliant. Amber makes can't yeah. remember. Don't forget to come to work on Monday. <laughs> yeah, could you just give me a I'll ring you. about I'll half three? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Do I'll I? be on my way to No, I will be here on Monday. The mug rag in Bumblebee has sold out. Colleen says, great dim demo. I live in Shetland. You will enjoy it <gasps> once you get here. Bring warm jumpers as the weather is unpredictable. So yeah, the I Bumblebee will. one, oh, sorry. The Bumblebee one sold out. Yeah. Brand new design today. This one. What was your after it? You said the one today, and then you said something. Oh, my moving. Oh yeah, we had more stock of this one because it was brand new, but it's got, been very, very popular. You did. You went, and the new one today. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can't. I can't really repeat that. Right, beautiful though. Brand new today. We had more of them to start with, but they've been very, very, very popular. You don't have to do the piecing. The piecing is already put together on the fabric. It's a mock, a mock hexi EPP. Right, yo. Vintage with the sewing machines is this one. 12 left. We might get more, but 12 is all I have to offer you today. Beautiful. Okay, that's that one. And then we've got the blue one, the blue rose one. Again, now you don't just get the bag, you get the, on the panel there's enough to make the tea bag holder and the um, coaster as well. So they get, you get the panel and the instructions, you can make all of that. Beautiful. Okay. Then we've got these, now the, we brought these because you asked for these, you asked for these. So uh, it came from uh, people messaging in saying, I love the kit, can we have fabric to go with? Well, Rebecca and Amy at Amber Makes, they did exactly that. This is a bumblebee panel. Now you get the whole panel here. They are 50 by 70 uh, centimetres each piece. Each of those fatter quarters are 50 by 70. So you get the bumblebees on honey, you get the bumblebees in the honey, in the um, honeycomb, and then you get the bumblebees on ivory. All of that, I can show you a big picture. Oh, there you go. I've got a big picture of it. There it is. And you get all the extra bumblebees at the top and the labels and everything at £19.99. 
However, oh yes, yes, there's the ones we did in the earlier hour as well for Vatacourt as well for eight, in the eight o'clock hour. Uh, vintage next. So this one again, you get the four, uh, the fifty by seventy centimeters. You get that one, that one, that one, and that one. Loads of these in baskets. So if you've made anything in the past from the from the Amber Makes kits with these prints on, then these are exactly the same. Beautiful. Then uh, we've got today's brand new one, which is the pink hexy one. So this one's lovely because you get a 50 by 70 of your pink gingham. You get a 50 by 70 of the large hexes. You get a 50 by 70 of the small hexes. And you get a 50 by 70. It's 100% cotton, machine washable. Uh, totally not exclusive to us and Amber Mix. Now, for some reason, that makes the top two look bigger than the bottom two. They're all the same size. They're all the same size. I don't know what's happened on that one. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got the Blue Roses. That's not a song. This is lovely. I love this print. Oh, okay, the, the goat, the goat. So you get this one, this OG print here. Then you get this one here, which is the vines on the splodgy background. Then you get, that's beautiful, I think that's stunning. And then you get the roses vines there. Plus all the extra bits and bobs all around the edge, the roses and the panels and all sorts of things around the edge. Now you don't need those to make the projects. They, they are additional to the projects. You want to make other things to go with. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. No Rebecca, problem. She's looking at me there like... <laughs> no, it's just being mesmerised. She's, 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 uh, I finished. She's on her way home. She's halfway down the M4. No, I'm halfway down the M4. Can I show you one more thing? Oh, yeah, yeah very, very quick. Okay. Um, just, I wanted to show you the handle on the mug, the, on the little teacup thing. Oh, okay. And I've said in the instructions to put wool or wadding to give it a bit of padding. Right. And I just thought if I showed you what it looked like when I'd done it, right. I just threaded and I just put it in a tapestry needle, four lengths of just thick wool, but you could use little strips of wadding through. Um, I just thought it might be easier to see it like that and then sew across the ends and that's what gives the handle on the teacup uh -huh. purse a little bit of... Brilliant. So Another tip for you at Shetland. Who's it from, Hannah? Oh, bring bite cream to Shetland with you. Oh, I was going to ask, does you it see, bite You see, when I filmed in uh, Being Human with Robin Williams in Kinloch Burvey, it was November, and we all like, had our big coats and everything, and you're in the Gulf Stream, and it's full of, it was, the weather was lovely, but lots of some... I thought because when you're by the sea, you don't get it. No, this, we filmed on the sea, we were in the sea. Really? And, um, yeah, every day we were in the water. And, I get um, bitten like... They oh, we'll just take a, have a great time. You know what they do say though. When we when we were filming in was it Africa or, or I can't remember if it was Ethiopia or Africa to stop them biting yeah. us, we had to wee on our legs. Don't. I'm do not that. doing that. No, uh, I'll be back <laughs> in three minutes with tools and bits and bobs and 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 which one is <laughs> this one? This one. We're doing this as soon as we come back. It's a Hannah special. As soon as we come back after the break, see you in four. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing has been part of the Great British Heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live.
stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family run customer service team are on call 24 7. they're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible and not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
It's time for Hannah's uh, pre-cut spontaneity thing of the hour. There we go. I've got to I'm just brand new now. This is going to go. This is going to go. You've love. You when I've shown you this, people have set it and just set an alarm specially for this. And who told? No, no, we didn't tell the wrong time. We made changed it, didn't we? Because originally it was. But anyway. Look at this, it's a design rod, it's brand new today, you've not seen it before. There are 20 pieces in here, so you've got that design, you've got that design, that design, that design, and a camo! Because that's what you have to wear when you're stroking your cat. Anyway, aren't they lovely? You get 22 and a half inch strips. Uh, 44 inches wide. Here we go. 12 and Oh, it's early bird special. <laughs> uh, it's, I thought it was brand new. Okay, it's someone else's early bird from another day in the future. Okay, early bird, 12 99 There's nobody watching because they're in a meeting. There's only four left. There's four left. There's four left. Brand spanking you. Oh, Ange, I hope Ange got in time. I hope her alarm went off. Sorry if you didn't get that right. Very quickly, the one I had last hour is very popular. There's a couple left. Oh, there is another design roll coming in the beginning of the next hour. And this is the one called Home. And it's got chickens, houses, and cars. Okay, look, 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 look. So this is my, the one from the last hour. But yeah, I, I wonder if the air couldn't have been switched off. It's gone very warm suddenly. Look. 18.99. There's only, how many did you say left? Five. Oh, ten, sorry. Ten of these left. £18.99. This was the last hour special. We rushed through it very quickly. Loads of you put it in your baskets, but you just need to check out. That's all. Oh, got them. Right, there you go. All those fat quarters you get for eighteen ninety nine. Dan Morris, they are uh, inspired by batiks, but they're actual digital prints. Eighteen ninety nine. The last time we'll be able to do these, absolutely last time. As soon as these, when these are sold out, that'll be it. They'll be not coming back. Beautiful colours. And fantastic price, eighteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Keep going through for those. Eighteen ninety nine. She did. That's what she said. When Beck Reed left, she said, "Is there anything you want?" And Hannah said, "Can you make some coffees, right?" So Beck Reed just come in, go, "We made the coffee." She's like, "No, I asked you if you wanted anything." Eighteen ninety nine. She says that at about twenty past six every morning. Anyway, I'm moving on while they row about mugs in there. Now, this hour is uh, rulers and tools, right? So I'm going to start off with my favourite, favourite, favourite um, look. This is what we're doing first. Now, I know you're thinking £64.99. This is just brilliant. This one. The amount of you should get, the amount of these we sell, the amount of designers, Wendy Orlando's got one, Alice and Mary, Mary Nelson's got one, they absolutely, I'm just going to move that, there you go, there you go. 
64 pounds and 99 pence. Right, look at this, look at this, look at this, right? What it is, it's a ruler that's got the rotary cutter attached. So if you're going to do a lot of bargellos, you're going to do a lot of, a lot of, um, I tell you what she used a lot, a a Emma Bradford used a lot, because when she's doing her, all her squares and then subcuts her squares and everything like that, or she sews, uh, what did we do the other day where she sewed lots of strips together and then subcut all the strips and everything? This is ideal, absolutely ideal for that. So what it is, is you've got your full on ruler here. Uh, which has got your inches here, up to six inches. You've got all your increments uh, for a quarter inches along here, both in black and in white. You've also got, um, so this is the ruler part here. Then this is the rotary cutter. I'll just wait a second. Thank you. This is the rotary cutter here, and this is your safety guard here, so you're not going to hurt your fingers. Basically, the blade is inside here. The blade is inside there, and it is not, uh, uh, you can't cut anything until you actually press down on there and the, and the blade is engaged. It takes a normal 45 millimeter rotary cutter blade, and it's really, really, really easy to change. I don't know how, how sharp this one is, but I'll just show you how the whole thing works. So, just get a piece of fabric. No, Hannah's not really, Hannah doesn't really like rotary cutters. So what you can do is you, you can go, you got to look at the width of the fabric. You can do your half width of fabric, look straight across the fabric like that. And literally, let me just put this here. I'm just going to square this off. Right now, no, you know how we say to you normally, never cut out cut towards yourself, right? We all say cut on this. You can cut out both ways, but let me just show you this, right? So if you just move it like this up and down the fabric, because you haven't engaged the blade whatsoever, it's not cutting the fabric. Put your hand on the ruler. It's safe here behind that guard, so your hand is nowhere near the blade. And then I'll just bring that into shot. You literally just press down on there, and that engages the blade, right? And you can hear that sliding through the fabric. Look. So that is how you get your lovely straight edge. Then, if you're doing bars yellows and things like that, and you think it tells you to cut hundred strips at like two and a half inches wide or whatever. So we've got our straightened edge there. We've got our increments of inches across the bottom here. So two and a half would be here. You line up your two and a half inch mark along the edge of your fabric there. There you go. Make sure it goes all the way to the top. Two and a half inches, two and a half inches, two and a half inches. So if you're making your own, oh, I've just moved it. You're making your own d design roll, your own jelly roll, your own bars yellows. Hang on, I'm not getting that face straight. There you go. Literally slice. Oh, I don't know if that's cut through. Oh, look, I've got one bit there that's just not gone through. Nice, mate. Is it our Wendy? I've just used mine and cut through six layers of canvas like a knife through butter and I've got arthritis from Wendy in Suffolk. There you go. If you've got any um, issues, dexterity issues, it's brilliant. And there, I've, I've made a bit of a mess of that one there because we need, this is the, why it's important to have a sharp blade in there. This is our demo one. But even so, with the blade that's not that sharp, uh, Debbie absolutely loves hers. Sophia says, how many layers can it cut through? Right, well, we can test it if you like, but remember my, my blade isn't that sharp. Um, I sell scrunches and I need this. It would make my life so much easier. Is that Wendy's, oh no, this isn't Wendy's purple fabric. No, Wendy's purple fabric was in the dressing room with flowers on it. I'll have to sort that out after the show. Right, hang on, so that, that's two layers, four layers. You see, I, mm, One, this is six. Now, obviously, my the blade I've got in here isn't the, the sharpest. I'm thinking, though, it sh you should be right going through six. Let's have a go. Just line that up like that. Oh! That was six layers, and I just went straight through it. Princess says, I've got the big one. I made cutting so much easier. What, your, your ruler's even bigger than this is? You've got the square one. You've got the square one. That's just gone through six layers so easily. So, Sophia, Sophia, I hope that helped. 
It's time saving. It's also, you know, if you're using a rotary cutter and you, if you've got to cut, like for, for example, a bargello, right? And you're, how many strips do you have to cut for a bargello, right? And then sub cut and all that sort of thing. Or if you're doing Seminole or anything like that, this takes any pressure out of your wrist, any pressure out of, and I know rotary cutters are brilliant, but this is if you have got to do lots and lots and lots of straight cutting. Because the other thing you can do then is once you've cut your strip, I don't know how wide that one was, I just cut then because that was just a random one, you can then start sub-cutting it, look, oh, into squares or rectangles or anything else that you need. Look, just literally, if you've got to do lots and lots of different um, squares and rectangles, things like that, it just saves so much time. And obviously if you've done the eight there, no, how do I say it? six? Six layers there, you can be doing all, imagine how much save, time that's going to save you. Oh, so a couple of messages. Uh, the fiscus cutter ruler is a game changer for those of us with arth arthritic hands, says Jane. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, any issues at all like that, they're brilliant, aren't they? And then another one, a fantastic tool, e uh, even strips every time. She doesn't strip, the machine strip does even strips every time. That's Kate in Gwyneth, Borada, Diochevau. No dolly cloud. It's good for cutting. Oh yeah, with, with children around. If you're doing with children and you don't use a rotary cutter with children, it's very good because you've got the guard the, and also the blade doesn't come. One thing you mustn't do is you mustn't pick it up like that because obviously if you pick it up like that, two things could happen. One, you could press down and the blade could come down. And also, Alice and Marion picked hers up like that, didn't it? And she... she she broke it, basically. Also, my advice would be don't hang it from this. There's a little handle here. Keep this. Keep the box it arrives in and store it in that. If you just get, slide it under your cutting desk or under your table or something like that, just keep it nice and safe. Try 12 layers. I don't think it'll go through 12 layers, Suzanne. No, it's not challenge John today, I don't think. No, you see, I don't think I'd even attempt 12 layers with a, with a, machine, with a thing like this. So I'd try eight, but I don't think I'd try 12. Anyway, it's 64.99, as you can see, lots of people love it. Uh, if you've got it in your basket, please check out. They always sell out, and then we have to wait ages for them to come in. Right, yo, should we go over to the shop then? Oh, ah, no. Oh, ah, oh. Shopkeeper's a bit old, and the shopkeeper forgot to get a stool out for this side of the shop. Anyway, come have a look what I've got in the shop. Everything. What would you like, madam? What can I tempt you with today? in my shop. We will do the multi-iron mat. There's only a few in stock, right? This is what we're talking about here. I'll let Emma come in on that one. Oh, there you go. So, deep now, whenever Emma Bradford is in, she always asks if she can use this. Oh. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. I've got into the stock room. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I just don't want to open another one, that's all. Right, so what you get, obviously you only get one for your 14 99 but I'll just show you what it is. So this here, this is your ironing pad, lovely, soft and squidgy, you can pin into this. Right, now you open it up, oh, <laughs> you open it up, you don't get that note in yours. So you get a cutting mat, you get a lovely, this is a, like a suede, it's uh, not suede, but it's a lovely soft piece of fabric because you can keep your, uh, put your blocks on there. But also, sandpaper. This is really good for just putting your blocks out, you want to put your blocks out, or cutting, not cutting, marking up. When you're marking up a half square triangle, something like that, first of all, the, the sandpaper stops your uh, charm pack or your piece of fabric from moving. Also, if you're using a pencil, it kind of aggravates the pencil on these, which gives you a nice, cleaner, smoother line, and you don't have to press so hard. Uh, it's just a love, and then you can put your block in there and keep it. Some people just keep blocks in there as well. This is your cutting board, though. That's your ironing. That's your marking. Keep it next to your ironing board, uh, next to your iron. And it's just perfect on your desk when you're working. If you haven't got a big space or don't want your ironing board in the room, $14.99. We do get more back in stock, but we're very, very limited today. And this one, we do sell it with a blue spot as well, but this one always sells out fastest. The flow. Okay. Charming circles. 
Now, this, we get this in, it sells out. We get this in, it sells out. We, it's something so simple, I can't tell you. When I was at the Festival of Quilts two years ago now, and Jill Rep was my guest on the stand, she showed how to use this. She used denim and she used five inch charm packs. Basically, what it is, you have to use denim, you can use any fabric you want. It's a circle template, right? And then in here are your dotted lines. What you do, and then also you get, you've got your groove lines here. What you do is you cut out your, um, I'm going to say denim for now. You cut out your denim there. You lay your charm pack, your five inch square um, charm pack piece in there, or, or five piece, a five inch square of fabric. Then you sew down that line and you sew down that line there. And what it does, it creates this kind of look of a cathedral window. But what's brilliant is on the other, oh, there's no picture on the other side. On the other side, if you've used denim, it, you've got the whole back, the whole other side, the back side is all sorted already for you. It's plain denims and everything. And then you just twist these over, turn them over like you would do along that line. It will fold along there and then you just stitch them down. Once you've, once you've sewn the seam here, so you do a whole strip of them. So if you're doing this, you sew that circle, that circle, that circle all together. Then uh, what you do is they fold over like that to create covering the edges of your five inch square of fabric. And it creates that lovely shabby chic project for, for blankets, pillows and tote bags. Look. It's a really, really lovely, lovely project to do. And it's $14.99. Right, the amount of people who've got that in their baskets, it will sell out today. We will order more. Oh, oh, now the other thing, the, my Fiskars um, <laughs> Rotary Cutter and Ruler combo. There's how many left? Eight left. There's only eight left of those. Eight of those left. Congratulations if you got that. That little ruler will sell out. Um, oh, now this is normally out on the, um, who's nicked our one from the set? Now, I need to tell you, when we were at Sewing Quarter, one of our guests used to come in, Charlotte used to come in, and we had, didn't sell this at that point, and she uh, brought in her grandpa, it's like a wooden roller wheel that he'd use for wallpapering and things. So I use it to press open my seams. So we asked our uh, buying team to buy some of this. Anyway, they came up with this and I looked at it and I went, oh, oh, for goodness sake. At $15.99 for that bit of plastic. Do you know what? It's a godsend. Uh, we gave it to Charlotte who had the wooden one. She'd, always been, uh, she'd been using her dad's one. You know Charlotte, one great British showing big. She'd been using her granddad's one for years and years and years. She said it was the best thing. She tried this. She said it was way better, way better. And it's really, really weird. It's, it, what it is, it's just, it's literally, if you want to press open your seams or if you don't want to press everything or if you're doing a quilt as a go or you want to press in some pleats or something like that. It's just like a little roller, little roller wheel like this. And it's an ergonomically designed handle, so you can hold on to it nicely and not, it's not going to hurt your hand or anything. It's brilliant. It's flipping brilliant. Oh, I, I, I will be announcing the winner of the competition, by the way, in a little while. Um, so literally, 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 look. You literally press your seams open. How many times can I say literally a sentence? You press your seams open like that, and it, you'd think it wasn't going to work, because it's lightweight. It's completely lightweight, and you think, that's not good. It does. The amount of people who've got these who love them, the amount of people who've got these who just think they are brilliant. You only have to watch our, our demos. If you've got a good cotton and you're doing, and you're doing half square triangles, you don't want to press it all the time. Press it with that, roll it with that, and it, the seam is so sharp, it's fantastic. £15.99 they are. I know. I can't say anything else. It's, that, it does what it says on the tin. Well, it's not in a tin. It's in a plastic, obviously. But Clover Roll and Press, it's called. If you've never had one, get one now. That's all I'm going to say. It's a bit sad sitting there on its own, isn't it? I'll put it away. Oh, now. 
Quilting gloves, which are another thing you can most people think, oh, I don't need the, those, don't need those. The amount of people, they should do free motion. If you're doing a lot of quilting, these are fantastic. Now, I need to also say to you, I'll do it that way because it's so easy on there. These are size medium to large. These are going to fit most people unless you've got tiny, tiny, tiny hands. In today's prize, you don't get the so easy ones, but you get the seams one. If you go in today's prize, that you because remember, everybody who buys something today goes into a drawer and I'll announce tomorrow, which is, look, you get a pair. Now, they're the seams one that you get in the, in the prize. These are your so easy ones. Now, when you first get them out, you think, oh, they feel a bit polyester-ish. They're so breathable. They're really, really good. But they've also got these lovely little silicon nodules on the end, both sides, on the ha both hands, both sides, everything like that. Fantastic if you're doing a bit of free motion embroidery like that, doing a bit of quilting, or just doing quilting like this. Takes the pressure out of your shoulders uh, and uh, keeps, your, if you get sweaty hands like me, keeps the sweatiness. You can wash them, don't tumble them. Uh, you can wash them because they've got rubberized gripping material on the fingers. And the, the kind of things you just think, and I, I won't use those, I don't need those. But actually, if you do a lot of it, everybody we know, like Cara uses them, Helen Newton uses them, lots of quilters we know use them, 3 99 Right, June uses the roller that we just had, the clove roller, in a needle turn applique. It's absolutely brilliant, she says. Fantastico. At £3.99. Uh, like I say, you can wash them. Uh, quilting, sewing, scrapbooking, crafting and hobby works. Keep your hands and quilts clean. Get a better grip on your quilt. Extra grip makes handling pins and ease and needles safe and easy. Reduces hand fatigue. Breathable soft fabrics keeps dry, hands dry and cool. There you go. Everything you need to know. These gloves are sold at silly prices elsewhere. Yours are brilliant. Thank you, Julie. Oh, hello, Julie. Not seen you for a while. How are you? No, because Julie was it's from Chester. Oh, now, Hannah loves these. She, wear, she wears hers as earrings. Oh, they keep sending me a closed one, look. If you're doing quilting, I'm not going to open them. I'm not going to open them because they will sell out. Not, then they will go, oh, John, you've opened one. But basically, what this what is, you know when you're doing a quilt, right, and you, you want to, you've done your layering, you've done your piecing, you put your major sandwich, and then you need to start quilting it. And you, you roll it up so it goes through the throw through machine and it unravels and it goes all over the place. These are such a really, really, really simple idea. So you roll your quilt up. I'll see there's a picture. They're like this. You roll your quilt up and you put these clips over your quilt while you roll. So you'd be machining here and you just keep that like that so it can go through the throat space in your machine. And it stays rolled up. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic idea. Like all ideas, the simpler the better, isn't it, really? You know what I mean? It's just such a simple idea, but it works. And you get two in a pack for 2 99 I know. It's all you can ask for in a quilt. Roll clip. Don't come in any other colour, just the blue. Or you can wear it like an Alicia Dixon earring, if you want to. Just the one. Don't wear two, that's going overboard a little bit. I don't know. Two pounds and nine, ten pence. Just let you keep checking out on that one. Lots of you coming in for those. Huh? I don't even know what it means. No, I know what that means, but I didn't know what the word was she used means. Oh. So machine needles, I've got uh, quilting needles and I've got machine needles. Quilting first. Now. Now, this suits all modern machines, including Benina, Burnett, Brother, Elna, Husqvarna, Janome, New Home, Faf, Simplicity Singer, and Toyota and Viking. Right, so now, these are specially designed for machine quilting. 
I think is, aren't they slightly longer? So they, because they go further through your fabric and sharper. They're all size 12. Doesn't tell me anything on the packet. Just select suitable size thread for each needle and replace needles regularly for best results. We knew that, didn't we? These are all size 12, though, in this packet, or 80, depending on which number you use. Pack of five. They've got green tips. Anyway. And then these, these are universal. This one's where all, everyone's got these, right? These are hemline. They're in here, you get size 70, size 80, and size 90. So that will be uh, 12, 10, 12, and 14. Slight, oh, these are universal. Very versatile, works well on most machines. It uh, doesn't give me a list of sewing machine ones that that last one did, but they're both by he Hemline. Suits all modern sewing machines, it says. Used with 80 weight, 60 weight, 50 weight or 40 weight thread. Cotton, polyester or silk. Or rayon. Now, it also says on there that it's got a sl slight ball point, that one. Hmm. Interesting. Two ninety nine. Always important to have a lot of uh, not a lot, but have so nothing worse than you get halfway through a project, your needle breaks. You're like, oh, I've got another needle. Always have always have them in your little gobbins box ready to go. Best press. We have got it in the lavender and vanilla mix. This one's the one Wendy Orlando loves. We're more limited on this one. Eleven ninety nine. Oh, I forgot to ask. We had somebody else messaging last week, Hannah, when you were here asking for the Caribbean Breeze. Or we saw new like Caribbean Dream. Best press. If you don't know what it is, it's like you spread onto your fabric. Uh, it just makes it a little bit more stable. So if you need to be a lot of cutting on the bias, a, a lot of people like Susie Duncan does it on every single piece she's going to cut for any quilt sort of thing. It just, it's, it's not a starch, but it just gives the fabric a tiny bit more body. And especially if you're going to be sewing on the bias or cutting on the bias, it just gives it that little bit of stability. We talk about all the time, our, our, our present, if you're doing a quilt as you go, it suggests that you use something like this uh, before you start cutting and pressing. £11.99 pets. And also, what I like about this one, it's not a, a spray can. It's actually got a squirter that comes with it. Obviously, when you get it, you just put that on the top where that is, you see. Oh, so, oh I'm sorry. No, she said, can you just buy the bottle? But that nozzle, I've got dozens of nozzles. Maybe you could donate them to a nozzle bank. I don't know. But yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, I don't know why they keep selling them. Okay, that's the, the villain. Uh, that's the, um, <laughs> not villain, vanilla and lavender. If you don't want any, uh, any scent, if you want a scent-free, fragrance-free, that's this one. Eleven ninety nine. This is scent free. You, if you don't want any scent in it all, I wouldn't advise add, adding any scent to it either, really, because you don't know if you start if you start spraying if you put some aromatherapy oil in there and start spraying it on your fabric, it might stain your fabric or something, might not it? I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I often am. Eleven ninety nine. It's called a soil garden wrinkle releaser. That's what they call it. Right. I'm trying to release the wrinkles. Wrinkle. Right, come on, move on. G 
June Taylor basting spray. Now this is, uh, well, this is the same as 505, but a different make, obviously. They can't call it 505, but it is what you use to uh, baste quilt layers together instantly. Now, I think this one might be, have been used, actually. You won't get this one, don't worry. Uh, secures quilt batting to top and back, works with cotton or polyester batting. It eliminates pinning and it's acid free, right? Just be careful you spray it in a room with um, ventilation in, that's all. Uh, now, but Jill, uh, Jill Rep absolutely loves it. Laundering will remove or diminish adhesive properties. Keep nozzle clean of, of adhesive built up. It's just brilliant. Fourteen forty nine. It's a big tin as well. Ten ounces that one. That's what it says on the tin. Oh, hey! I think my table might be on a slant though. Is Elliot in tomorrow? Has he gone already today? Uh, what was he coming in to talk about? He always comes in and starts whittering just at an important part, doesn't he? Fourteen forty-nine. well done. Right. I've got my graph paper. Oh, yeah, I love this. If you want to sit and design your own quilts or your own blocks, this is just, well, it's not a luxury. It's just something that you, will make it much, much easier. Look, you see, if you want to do in, it don't have to be these. They could be different blocks, but you can design and create your own blocks. Four inch, eight inch, or 12 inch. I mean, there's nothing to stop you doing it different sizes. Well, if you want to make a six inch, you can make a six inch from it, but they've already done the four, the eight, and the 12 ready for you. $4.99 will get you 25 sheets for drawing quilt blocks, designing projects, and scrapbooking as well. Just make sure, you know when you sometimes think you've got some fabric, you think, well, what shall I make with it? Would it look nice if I did this quilt? Or would it look nice if I did this block? Or what would happen if I mix my two favourite blocks together? Would it work? Well, that's, this, you can, because your squares are already printed out for you, makes it so much easier. I tell you what I use this for, and I'm a bit embarrassed to say it. When I bought my new house, I mean, it's 10 years ago now, I did all of the rooms out of this, and then I cut out little bits of furniture, the size that they were. Now, you laugh, but because I, I already had a house full of furniture, you don't want to move house and then think, well, where's that, where's that cupboard going to go? And sometimes, you sometimes look at a room, don't you? And you think, oh, that'll all fit. Like, uh, for instance, right, in my lounge, I was convinced that my sofa and my old Indian wooden sofa would all both fit in the room. But you draw, you, you suddenly realise how big a sofa is. I didn't draw it as in like a sofa like that. I measured it width and, and length sort of thing. So, so like say this was my lounge, right? So you'd put um, the door to come in is here and the window's there and the fireplace is there. And then the French, uh, the double doors into the dining room are here, right? And then there's a radiator here and there's a radiator there. So, you, yeah, well, there's also another window there as well. But, 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 but you then put a, put a sofa, you think, oh, yeah, the sofa will fit along there. Draw the size of the sofa. It's actually that big, isn't it, in reality? Do you know what I mean? So you soon realise, or where you want to lay rugs and things like that. And I did the same for bedroom, because I had so much furniture. I know I was buying a bigger house, but there's nothing that's going to fit, is there? Oh. So if you're Emma, you won't need this, because she's got nothing. So when she moves into a little uh, studio apartment, she'll just have to buy a bed. At four ninety nine, four pounds and nine ten pence. But you use it for all sorts of things like that, can't you? Really, I think it's a brilliant buy that one. And also because you've got the squares there, it makes it so much easier, doesn't it? Oh God, good review on Fifu. Looks like it'll help me plan a couple of designs I've seen, which I hope to convert into a panel. There you go, crafter in the East Riding of Yorkshire. No mention of a lounge, though. No mention of a lounge. No. Right, now, if you want to make templates using the squared plastic. Now, this is brilliant, because sometimes in a book, 
it says, you know, cut these out or EPP or anything like that. Because it's already got the chart on it, the, 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 the squares on it. They are quarter an inch those as well. Quarter an inch squares. So you can work out the seam allowance. Oh, that's good. If you're using, if you, you're doing EPP and you want to cut the fabric out and it's not like the one Rebecca designed earlier and you think, oh, I want a fussy cut and I want all of those Tudor pink raccoon faces in each of these squares, you can do it with the seam allowance on it, plonk it on the fabric and then cut it out properly. That'll save your fabric in the long run. $3.99. You get two sheets in there. 280 by 215 centimetres. Lovely. You can draw on those with, um, with a pen. Double wedding band now. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for ages this to come in, weren't we? And then we did it recently with... Was it Susie Duncan, wasn't it? Susie... 29th of June, we did this, Susie Duncan. Now, I'll show you the back of the packet because this is the, this is the shape it makes in the end. The double wedding band. Uh, and this is how you can... They're all different illustrations you need for all the different pieces. You have to cut. It'll tell you in the instructions. Also, it's got a QR code on here. Or if you go to Creative Grid's website, you'll be able to see instructions on how to use it. So you have the melon, which fits in there. You have the central section. You've got the wedding ring bit there. And then you've got the little corner bit there. Uh, brilliant because it, you can use your edge cut around it. You can draw around it. It's already got the seam allowance uh, marked in. It's also got the little dots in that you can match up the pieces. Also with this one, uh, if you don't want to do the wedding bands in solid colours, then you literally just cut out the whole piece like that. But if you want to do like different coloured sections, that's almost like doing an, a foundation paper piecing. You can just put the piece on, mark where the lines are going to go and create your own shaping from that. Okay, Hannah says that uh, she's just gone on Pinterest to have a look at wedding. Oh, have a look. Have a look. So many different versions there. Give you a bit of inspiration. Yeah, yeah, we can't say these are done with a ruler, but these are, it's a traditional design. It's a traditional design, so you could use inspiration in terms of colours and shape. And I like the one with birds in the middle. Well, yeah, because, again, you could fussy cut. So if you're going to use a pattern fabric for that central section in there, you could get the, 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 the it literally right in the middle. The other thing is, you see these lines here? Susie was like saying, if you're using a 10-inch charm pack, this one is too big to cut from a 10-inch charm pack. But what you can do is you can either create... Uh, quarter square triangles, half square triangles, or quarters like that, because all the marks are all on the ruler for you to show where to cut and what, what to sew together and everything. Ruler makes it so much easier. So much easier. And again, they've not got all of them on here, but that because this is your traditional one. But you could make, look, you see, there you go, there's the quarter one. There's the, uh, that's another quarter one with your half square triangle one there. Then you've got your melon, if you want to do it as a half moon. Uh, then there's all the different, the, all the different um, variations you can use there. And you see, now what I would do, what I would do is I would use my graph paper to draw out where my colours are going to go because you have to work out whether you want the circles to be one colour, whether you want the circles to be multicoloured, whether you want the inside bits to all be the same colour. So I would use the graph paper to work out where all my colours were going to go, personally. Beautiful. Uh, £37.49. pence. There's a lot of ruler in there for your £37.49. Uh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Very popular ruler. List. Most of our designers own this one. This is your 12 by 6.5. Fantastic price this is. 12 by 6.5. Did I just say, yep. Yeah. Now, Creative Grids, if you've not come across them, family run business in Leicestershire. Now, the thing about their rulers is they have this patented grip on the underneath the ruler. So you can move it around when it's on the fabric like that. But as soon as you put your pressure onto it, it stays where it is. Now, all of your figures are here. Your solid numbers are on your white. Your half figures are on your uh, white and half figures in the left. You've also got all the increments down to a quarter of an inch in both the black and the white. So it doesn't matter if you're using pale fabric or dark fabric. You can still see them. On this side of the ruler, there's the perfect quarter inch seam allowance. And on this side here, there's a half inch seam allowance. And then obviously you've got all the, um, 
all the other increments of measurements across there. Ideal for loads of projects. It's also got your angles on. You've got a 45 degree line, uh, a, uh, a 45, 60. I thought it had a 30 on. Oh, there, yeah, there are 30s there. 30s there. 14.99. Now, if you know, I mean, that is really, really, really good value for a creative goods ruler. I need to tell you. Fabulous. Make sure you check out. Now, this here, this is your Alpha ruler. This, now, when you first look at this, you think, oh, that's just like any school ruler. I don't need to get that special one. Look, it's got a quarter of an inch seam allowance directly on the side there, marked up ready for you. So you've got your 12 inches here, and then you've got your quarter inch marking along here. Perfect, because, well, obviously, all quilters and pieces all use a quarter inch seam allowance, don't they? Beautiful. Max says, John, does it come in metric measurements? This ruler, no, Max, this is just in inches. It's because, Max, most people who do quilting use inches and the quarter inch seam allowance. So now that one doesn't, you can get metric rulers. Uh, in fact, but neither, I don't know which one you talk about. Neither of them are metric. They're both, they're both imperial. That one and that one are both imperial. Good question, though. Um, oh, I've got, no, hang on, I've got all this on this side. I'm, I'm thinking I've run out of things. Through. Oh, yeah, now these, you need to watch. These are not for the faint-hearted, and I'm not being negative or anything like that, but I don't want you to buy these if you're new to quilting and then look at them and go, why has he made me buy these? These are, buy them now by all means for something to go to in the future, but watch the demonstration. I tell you what, the demonstration was brilliant. It was Emma Bradford, 12th of June, 12th of June, Emma Bradford did a demonstration on these and they, her, her demonstration was the best I've ever, ever seen of these, of these Mariner's Compass. Now, I'll just put the, show you them both because this one here is your skinny Robin and this one here is your fat Robin, right? Now, obviously, it's the same technique, sort of same technique, but look, the Fat Robin is a more chunky um, design, and the skinny one is... A now, you can't mix and match between the two. The rulers only work for each one. So which one do you want to do first? Skinny first. Right, now, inside here, I can't open the bag, but inside here, you do get these two rulers... You get all the instructions, you get the template for the circle there. Now you can make all the sizes of a skinny robin from a 6 inch block to a 36 inch block. Right? And then you can make all these, it's got patterns in there and everything. Look, so it's got these patterns. These are the different uh, um, varieties of the skinny robin. There's an app you can go to. And then this is your, these are your rulers and your templates in here. Now, I know you're thinking $59.99, John. It's a book. It's the two rulers and, it's ev and the templates. Everything you need to know is in that book. Here goes. Sue said, I made two Mariner's Compasses, one large and one small. Hardest thing I've ever sewn. Thank you, Sue. But that's honesty. They're, so what, that's what I mean is don't buy this. And believe me, I'm not being negative. I'm not being negative at all. But I would hate for you to spend, what is it, $59.99, get it home and then look at it and go, oh, I only want to do a log cabin. 12th of June, it, there is the most brilliant, brilliant, brilliant demonstration by Emma Bradford on these. So that's, that's your skinny. Then we've also got your fat. I would have called it chubby myself, but... But you know, in the Robin family, the girls are always the chubbier ones. So if you see a, ro a Robin in your garden, it's like chubby, it's a girl. And if it's a little skinny and weedy, it's a boy. So this is your fat Robin version. Again, the rulers, all the different shapes and styles you can do. Three quilt patterns in there as well. But you see, what you could do is if, if you just wanted to make one for the centre of a quilt, do a medallion quilt. You, you, you start off, you can either do a circle in a square, you can have a square in a square, you can, with extra prongs or points, whatever. The choice is yours. There's an awful lot. An awful lot. 
$59.99. Beautiful. Right. Village fabric kit starting with Random art? Oh yeah, random art, so it is. Right, there's only two of these left. One they've gone, they've gone. Yvonne Makatamni from Village Fabrics. Lovely quilt, this $49.99. Uh, Max, 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 Max. I think they do do, they do do a metric range. They do do some of their rulers in metric. So yes, I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can get them. We just don't stock them because most quilters want them in Imperial. Oh, and French patterns and Canadian patterns sometimes have them in metric, but no, he wants them for his, um, he's a designer who does all his pattern making in metric, you see. Uh, Shelley says, I've got these rulers, but they're for when I've made a couple more quilts before I start these. There you go, you see. Right, this is lovely. Random Hearts, all the fabric you need uh, for the front and the binding. You just need to supply the um, wadding and the backing. $49.99. Finish size is 30 8 by 46. Have we got a picture, Emma, of that one? There you go. There it is. Oh. Now, you can move the hearts to wherever you want them because they're random hearts. And then Hannah's going to put... So, so she puts a name, and then when she finishes with that one, she puts another name in that one. Then she finishes with that one. Put, moving on. But she seems to have got here and stopped. No, no, that you've stopped now. That's it. Then you get married, so then it'll be mar wedding day. No, that's this year. One for a year. No, you'll be down here as bridesmaid. Singer at wedding, you'll be on there. Uh, I love Yvonne, says Claire. I could listen to her and Jane Green off rouse. Oh, yeah, she's fantastic, isn't she? Okay, so all of that, you get all of that in there. You just need to supply the, the backing and the, and the wadding. There's only a couple of those left. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's all I've got. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I did have the quilt kit for this available early this morning. I haven't now. Maybe we'll get it back in stock. But I have got the pattern. Now, I did this last time with Vaughn was in with me. We did the um, row of the month in the first hour, and then we did this in the second hour, didn't we? 22nd of June, just after my birthday. No comment. It's very simple. Now, this one, unlike the um, round robins, fat robins even, this is very good for beginners. There you go. There's Yvonne's version of it. But obviously, because it's just the pattern, you can make whichever, whatever, whatever you want to. It's 33 and a half by 41 inches finished. Uh, Hannah, well, no, you can't because it's sold out. Hannah wants to make this out of the um, unicorns we had earlier. Right. Next. Tropical flower. Oh, what's the time? Oh, look at the time here. Tropical flowers. Tropical flowers. This is 44 by 44. Now, everything in here apart from the back. Of, oh, look at all the beautiful fabrics there. And this, this is in your centre of your squares. That's your border. It's lovely, isn't it? Very achievable, but looks so stylish and hard work, doesn't it? If it's not, $49.99. Everything you need apart from the backing. So there's Macawa linear in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very quickly, I've got one more thing to show you before I go on. This is the same one, but in the pastels, this one. Oh, you see now, Emma likes the pastel one better. Me and Hannah like the dark one. Right, uh, very quickly, because I've just realised the hour's about to finish. 
I need to just, just tell you about two things, right? Two things, right? Uh, this, no, not that. This, 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 right? How many left, Hannah? Five left. That's all there are. Five left in stock at the moment. Uh, and the whole company at £64.99. Loads you've got it in your basket, though. So please be careful if you've got that in your basket. I've only got five left for you. We will, we will get it. We will get it back again. But if you want it now, then, you know, be, please be careful. And then straight after the break, we've got Hannah's spontaneous, spontaneous pre-cut of the day. It's not on pre-order yet. It's not on pre-order yet. But don't go anywhere. That'll be first up. But after the break, we've got fabric bundles under £15, which are on pre-order and are flying out the door. Some have already sold out. I will see you in about four minutes from now. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one p p even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P &P all day. We know 
know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! I remember everyone who buys something today, is name, your name will go into a drawer and about this time tomorrow, I'll be announcing that you have won, one of you will have won this. Uh, seems hand cream, seems nail oil, uh, seems little uh, nail file and sanitizer and mask. Some seams uh, quilting gloves and the panel with the Queen's corgis and Buckingham Palace and everything like that on it. That is today's prize and somebody will win that at this time tomorrow. Now, if you bought something from me yesterday, your names went into a hat. And today's prize winner is... Dump. Uh, Jan Mohammed, you are the winner of Wednesday's giveaway prize. That's a lovely one because you get the Jules book, which is now out until August. You get two charm packs from CAFE, which one's called Equator and one's called Ocean. And you get the Hexi... Uh, panel that will be winging its way to you very very shortly jam congratulations right now it's time for hannah's spontaneous spontaneous can't say that word spontaneous pre-cut of the day oh you normally cut to that don't you uh here we go she didn't have faith that i'd have it on the table in time Brand thanking you today. Now, what we've done is we've either had brand new ones or, or end of range. This is brand spanking new today. These are two and a half inch strips. You get 20, <coughs> you get 20 uh, pieces in here. Chicken, clock, cat, apple. First time you've ever seen these here at Sewing Street. Look. I'll go ahead and have a look. Is it upside down? Oh, no, it's all multi-directional, isn't it? So you get them in the blue. You get them in the red. You get them in the beige or gold. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I like that one. But then you also get them on the pale blue. Then it's not... If that's, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Because then you get it on like an apple greeny colour. Then you get it on a soft pink. And then, completely differently, you get cars. Oh, okay, so the picture on the website hasn't got the cars in it, so we're not sure what... Right, we've opened up the one that the manufacturer sent us. We have no idea. Oh, hang on, now she's making me count now, right? Well, I'm chatting amongst yourselves for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if you also have cars in or not, but you'll definitely get all the others. We haven't done anything to them. This is how it came from the manufacturers. Anyway, $14.99. Brand new today. Brand new today. Home dis... Half the stock's gone already. I'll take it off that one because that one's strawberry, but we'll go to a, a different colourway. There you go. Is that better or do you want that one? There you go. Come on in close and have a look then, because you've got um, duck, no, not a duck, chicken, apple, cat, angel with boxing gloves, house, American flag, hearts. Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. It's not a birdhouse, a cuckoo clock. I wonder what they are. There. It's a cat, as I said, cat. Coffee pot. Sweet home. Dream. It's lovely anyway, isn't it? Uh, $14.99. Brand banking new today. At £14.99. You get 20 pieces in there. 20 pieces. I'm not sure if you get the cards, whether you'll get 20 of the home. Yeah, I think it's been on, done on a machine and those, they finished doing the car one. Because we had a car one earlier this morning and then just accidentally pressed the button too, too late. Do you know what I mean? So you might get, because look, you're only getting, in this one, you're getting one pink. Oh, I reckon you're going to get three pinks. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Let me know. When you get it home, let me know. Fourteen ninety nine. Okay, half the stock of that has gone. I'll put that there because I can always come back. Because you know what this hour is, don't you? Everything's under £15. Right now, the other day we did one of these under £15 hours, right? And I got this, I was like, oh, I can't believe we have got this, can't believe we have got this. Oh, we haven't got this, we haven't got this. Got it today, got it today. These are Liberty Christmas prints. I'm sorry, look, I'll just move those, aren't they? Beautiful, aren't they? They are Liberty Wiltshire Shadow, metallic, 14 49 Half metre of this, half metre of that. If you buy more than one, they don't come joined together. I know, I think it's not under £151, it's an exclamation mark. Liberty Wiltshire Shadow, metallic bundle. They're beautiful, aren't they? Look, you're getting half a metre of each. Well, half metre of the silver, half metre of the gold. Under £15 the whole hour. It's under 100, uh, under 100, under 15 pounds. It is under 151 pounds as well, but it's mainly under 15 pounds. Aren't they lovely? Make sure you check out. We're doing a Christmas, we're doing Christmas at Elves tomorrow with that uh, Victoria Peak tomorrow. I know. I'm in the shop now, but different shop now. I've got the fabric shop now. The shop is heaving. The shop is absolutely heaving. So now I will need, um, I don't know, I will need your help. No, I wasn't going to say that. I will think I need to go quite fast in this hour because there's an awful lot to get through. Right, so in this bundle, you do get half a metre of the oranges, half a metre of the lemon. Twelve ninety nine. It's from the squeezy range. Oh, let me, right, hang on a sec. I need to just rearrange this so I'm in the right, in the centre. Tote bags for your fruit and veg shop. Uh, gift, oh, she's getting, so we're going fast, but now Hannah's reeling off everything she's going to make with these. She's going to buy you a bottle of gin, and she's going to make a little bag, orange gin, with a little bag to put it in. Or, or a limoncello. 12 99 Everything this hour, all the bundles are under £15. They're all on. Oh, actually, do you know what we should do? After this one, we'll go and have a look at the website. Only because they're all on pre-order. Everything's on pre-order. So you don't have to wait for me to get to it. You can have a look at it on pre-order in a second. 
Oh, here we go. We've gone there. We've gone there now. Click. <laughs> Emma's decided we're going now. Right. So you click on. Cl click on watch the show live. Go to uh, pre-order on the right hand side. Right now. Uh, then scroll down. Oh, no. Hang on. There you go. They are all the bundles still to come. And we have to pack all of those away. And if the if they, if the studio next door comes in, we have to do it in a corridor. Right now, what I need to say to you though is the reason you didn't see the Liberty one in there is because that's jumped over to as soon as we play something, it goes into the left hand column, which is show deal. So this one, when I finish this auction, these will go into the one that says show deals. Right? 12.99, half meter, half meter, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight fabrics. Beautiful. Okay. Blue, mi oh, now, I'll tell you what I need. I Can I have a black trolley, please, yeah? Uh, mixers. Yeah, look, that's this one. Right, these are mixers, three mixers. So you get this one. They're the splodge fabrics, the splodge range. So eleven ninety nine. You get all three of those for eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Are those all sold out already. Those ones there. Oh my word! Loads, or even the stars at the bottom there. Yeah, that's oh, that's not okay. <laughs> So the ones that are sold out, where are the plastic bags for them? Inside the bag. Are they? 11.99, 11.99, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. These are blue mixers. Five left, five left, five left. I'm sorry, Helen. Half metre, half metre, half metre. Let me show you what half metre looks like. Okay, lovely. Yeah, Jim Bowen. He, she thinks it's she, Hannah. Thinks she's Jim Bowen now. He's just she's just got super smashing great. Okay, that's the blue one. I've got one of those in purple now. That's called the that, no. That's called the Bachelorette, isn't it? Oh, apparently there's a show on telly where you date millionaires and you go to a mixer. Hannah hasn't made it there yet. There you go. Look, aren't they beautiful? No, I've never said that one. I? 11 .99. So a little bit shallow though, isn't it? I'm only going to date you because you're a millionaire. But isn't there a website where, isn't there a, um, one of those swipey right things where it's just for like celebrities and things like that as well? Yeah, well, Hannah, you have to, I think it's for only for celebrities. 11 99 purple, purple, purple. So that's a deep purple, a magenta, and a kind of amethysty purple there. 11 pounds and 99 pence. Everything, oh, that doesn't say under 15 pounds on it, you see there. 11 pounds and 99 pence, these beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> what colour am I looking for? Oh, there. Yes, right. So this one, you get lemon, half a metre of lemon. You get half a metre of the apricot in colour. Half a metre... Oh, sorry, hang on. I just need to move those. And you get the squiggles. Fourteen ninety nine. You're saving two pound forty seven on this one. Peach, lemon, and coral. Peach, lemon, and coral. Anna's thinking a beach bag. Emma's thinking lunch. 
14.99. You get all four of those. All four of those for 14.99. Hello. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, Emma's not in tomorrow. So we've got Elliot tomorrow. Elliot, Hannah and me tomorrow. And then what day is that? Friday. Then on Saturday and Sunday, little Paul's producing me on little Saturday and Sunday. Little Saturday. <laughs> little Paul's producing on Saturday and Sunday. And it's Elliot directing that day. Both days. Oh, OK, there could be a fight. There might be a fight. There really, really, really could be a fight. Here we go. Just tune in. You better hear them. 14.99. Beautiful. Let's put that there. Uh, mandalas. Oh, yeah, here, here, here. Okay, brand new, this one says. The bundle has been on before, so it's not brand new. Um, I'm loving, it, uh, that's an eclectic mix, isn't that one? Who made this one? They're from the what? Okay. They're from the Gossamer collection. Not the Glossomia. Oh, it's beautiful. I remember this. I think I might have launched this. It's beautiful, isn't it? But then you also get the Mandala fabric as well, from the same range. Oh, no, three left. There's only three of these left, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Sorry. Pre-order, in it. Oh, I love... See, now, I might not use them in the same project, but they're both beautiful fabrics, aren't they? Look. Exquisite, I'd say. Oh, there's two left now. Just two left. By the time I folded up, they'll all have gone. Yeah. Okay, that's that one. That's about to sell out. Got one from the same range. Well, one of the fabrics is from the same range, I must say. I love it. I think that's such a beautiful traditional fabric. So you've got your fuchsias and you've got your splodge in pink. Oh, that's fuchsia mixer as well, is it? That's called Fuchsia, and that's called Fuchsia. But that's from the Gossamer Garden collection. That's from uh, Mixed Range, but it's not, it's, um, is it Stoff? Um, who is, oh, it's John Loudon. John Loudon, that's all I was going to say. John Loudon. There you go. Just what you want to say, because that's not, that's Gossamer, that's John Loudon. Eleven pounds and forty nine pence. I think this is beautiful, this one. Yeah, this is Henry Glass Gossamer, look. That's so beautiful, isn't it? Eighteen different colours in there. Lovely. Make sure you check out on these. How much is that one? Eleven pounds forty eight. Oh, more people in baskets than we've got bundles. There's me saying I'm going to have to rush. You're buying them this quickly. I'm going to have to do a song and dance routine, I think. Not. Monochrome with five in. So you get grey and grey and grey. Huh? Grey. No, cream. Black. Right, so at fourteen ninety nine, but you're saving two pound forty six. You get two and a half meters of fabric in here. Now, how many? Sorry, sorry, you did tell me how many have gone. Two hundred and thirty eight. Quarter of the stock of this has gone on pre order already. So you get the mid grey, the darker grey, the pale grey, the ivory, and the black. I'd say that was. Lovely and, and very, very, very useful to have in your stash because how many times do you just need that tiny bit of grey, tiny bit of black, tiny bit of cream, just a sliver, and you've got it in your stash. If you buy two bundles, obviously you get two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. They don't come joined up, so don't be thinking, well, I can make a, if I buy three, I can make a skirt or something. You can't. They literally will come. 
I think Lo might have been drinking already this morning because she keeps just sending in uh, song titles about what we're talking about. And then she's just gone, John, sing I am what I am, I am. So that was it. That's what it says. I won't be singing I am what I am, but there you go. She's on holiday, you see. She already done I'm walking on sunshine. She's done the big ship sails down the alley, alley O. She's done, oh, I don't know what that song is. Next one. Yep. There we go. Tape measures. Blue tape measures and brown tape measures. Nice. Uh, now, please don't be measuring yourself with these. They won't be, they won't be um, anatomically correct. That's not the word I was looking for, but you know what I mean. Tape measure fabric bundle, a 14.49. You get half metre, half metre. Half metre of the brown, half metre of the blue. Are these are Dan Morris. What range are these from? What collection are these from? Oh, okay. I don't think I ever saw that one. Oh, she says I'm working, I'm not drunk. Just today, the song's in my head. Drunk on life and looking forward to swimming in the sea later. Oh, how lovely. One way to get rid of the sharks down south, isn't it? Beautiful, blue, brown, tape measures. Under 15 pounds. Yeah. Now, this is a bundle, but there's only one fabric in it, but you get more. Well, have a look. You see, so Hannah's done these bundles where you get a metre and a half of fabric. We've called it cream backing. It's not, it's not wide. It's 44 inches wide, but you can, you know what I mean? Metre and a half of 44 inches wide. It's Rose and Hubble cream. Nine ninety nine, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. So now, if you buy two, you'll get two pieces cut at a metre and a half. They're already cut, right? They're not. Then they won't come joined together. So you won't get a three metre piece. Four left. Four of those left. Got the teal version now. Well, this is a such a lovely colour, this one. Again, a metre and a half, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, 100% cotton. Is Dan Morris related to William and May? I don't think so. I don't know. But no, I don't think so. Well, no, it could be, a, it could be further down the line, couldn't it? Because William Morris, he could be a great-great-grandchild, I suppose. But no, I don't think so, Jan. Lovely colour this now. It is teal. It looks a bit blue on my telly. It's definitely a dark teal. Look, oh, there you go. That, that's the colour it is. 9 99 for your metre and a half of that. Lots of you coming in. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide. Cream one has sold out now. Teal one won't be far behind. Okay, I'll put that one back on my table rather than on my trolley. Chatres or chatus. Says backing in it. Ignore that. Ignore that. It's a metre and a half, <coughs> 44 inches wide. <coughs> Excuse me. 100% cotton. Rose and Hubble. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? Chatus. How you say it? Chatus. Three of those left. Well we'll, well, we'll carry on doing chartreuse because it's one of our stock's core fabrics, isn't it, that one? Okay. Hydrangea? No, it's not hydrangea, this one, is it? This is... Um, Oh. 
I'll, I'll, I'll remember it in a minute. So you get half a metre of that. I, that's it, Cianthus. Thank you. And then, oh, these are beautiful fabrics, these, look. 1449, stained glass fabric bundle. I think this one's called Splodge or Stroke or something like that. Washed even. And then you get the one that looks like Hydrangea, but they've called Cianothus. I love both of those. And they work beautifully together, don't they? Oh, you're loving this one for your 14 49 Remember, if you buy two, they don't come joined together. I just need to stress that. I'm stressed. I'm very stressed. I am. No, you've got to get, it's Friday, you've got to go home tomorrow. Oh. Fourteen, forty-nine. they're beautiful, aren't they, those two? Yeah, I'm in, Friday, I'm in now Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hannah's in tomorrow. Emma's off till next week. I'm not in next week until Saturday and Sunday of next week, just so you know. I know. I'm going to Pavers, to filming at Pavers Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I'm going to see Mike and Julie, Julie, because I'll help walk the dog and everything, because Julie's just come out of hospital. Harvey's going home on Friday. Harvey's the cat. I've already arranged it. And then and I, said to, I said to Dulcie, you need to have Harvey back on. I said at the weekend. I didn't, give, I didn't say a specific day. I said, she went, well, you've got keys. You can take him home. And I was like, you could come and collect him. <laughs> Anyway, I, 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 what'll happen is, I bet she has, she's forgotten to do the cat flap, so I won't be able to take him home on Friday at all. Oh, no. What's FBLJ38? I'll put that... Yeah. Oh, actually, that one hasn't got a sticker on it at all. Oh, okay, that was Chartreuse. But this one hasn't got a label on it. Oh, no, no, no. We'll sort it. Emma's, Emma's in charge of this hour. I thought your appointments were over now. Cider. There it is. It was, it was blending with the desk. Fourteen forty nine. This is Moda Cider Fabric Bundle. Oh, so popular on pre-orders. Only three left now. Now I don't know. And uh, can we do this again? Fourteen forty nine. Beautiful. I love that one. I think they look like, what's those things you have on the end of a curtain rail? Is it called the sconce or something? No, not a sconce. Filial. Is it called a filial? Anyway, the thing that's on the end of a curtain rail, I think they look like. That way, obviously. And that way. Beautiful. Uh, that one's about to sell out, by the way. I've got... This one. So th this is the one with the grey squares, everybody. It's next to... Th it's the one with the grey squares, John. £13.49. pence. What do you need to know that for? Rebecca Eads just come in going, who's directing tomorrow? Oh, no. £13.49. pence. Can you hear them all g giggling in the background? I do apologise. Oh, not a filial, it's a finial. Finial. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Princess. Thank you, Suzanne. Right, look. Thirteen forty nine. 
Now, Emma, did you unpack this one? Oh, no, it's there. It's nicely folded, so. £13.49. pence. Yeah. Very delicate, that one, isn't it? Very delicate. Next one. What's the matter? Blue, purple and blue with crisscrosses on it. I, I can't see any crisscrosses fabric. Yeah, I've got watering cans here. Henry Glass, back, back garden. No, backyard happenings, backyard happenings. Oh, this one's called back. Yard, backyard, yeah. Beautiful. So you get the um, you get the watering cans and the lovely flowers, and you get the ladybugs. Fourteen pounds and forty nine pence. This half meter of each, hundred percent cotton, forty four inches wide, machine washable. Quilting weight. Fourteen forty nine. A date slice. Fourteen forty nine. I'm moving on. Yeah. Yep. Right, this is called Deck of Cards, £10.49. Deck of Cards, this will be a cat bundle, this one. Oh no, Hannah did this one, Hannah did this one. So you get half a metre of your black, half a metre of your white, and half a metre of your bright red. That'd be good for your stash, wouldn't it, Ten forty-nine. It is under £15, obviously, because it's the under £15 hour. Gorgeous. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Here we go. From the same range, they are Moda Casada Icat. They're the pinks, you get half a metre of each. Show you the fabric. Now I'm not sure if I'd use them together. They're from the same range, but I'm not sure if I'd use them together. They're lovely. I mean, they're beautiful. They're both beautiful in their own right. Colours are lovely, aren't they? Oh, look, I've sort of pattern matched it there by accident. Sort of. They are lovely, aren't they? The 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight cotton. They are from Moda, so you know they're going to be good quality. It's a peacock. Next one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I've got, oh yeah, there's two astronaut ones, but this is this one, yeah. Right, it's an unusual mixture, this one. Oh, okay. Okay, so astronauts, 55 inches wide, plus your snippets, because it looks like you're going into outer space. That's 44 inches wide, that one. This is a Hannah bundle for you. So now she's doing moving on up. Moving on in, moving on up. What did I say then? Actually, it does work, Hannah. You're quite right, it does work. Yeah, lovely. Do 
Now this fabric here, let me show you this that's half meter here because it goes like this. And the little little snippety bits here are kind of they're not metallic, but they're almost uh, pearlescent. Lovely colour, isn't it, that one? I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like you know when they're taking off and they're going into the sunset. She was dreaming of Richard Branson when she put this one together. I have got another one with astronauts on. It's a three, three one, this one. Do you want the number? I've got the number. FA6698. Oh, no. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Yep. Now, these are all extra wide, these fabrics, I seem to remember. Yeah, look. 55 inches wide, that's only half it, obviously. So you get the stars on white in blue, you get the narrow stripes, and you get the chevrons. So the fabrics are 55 inches wide, they're 100% cotton. 12.99. 12.99. Considering Lowe's at work, she's obviously not getting much work done, is she? 12.99. So you get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, 50 inches wide. Or 55. Now 50 inches wide. All three of those you get for your 12.99. I've not got that one. Florals, oh yeah, this one. It's a bit... Oh, okay. Okay, so it's just these two. And that code is VR6679, yeah? Yeah, got it. Beautiful. These are your Moda. Canning days. There's only five of these bundles left now. You're loving your under £15 bundles today, I can tell you. Oh, no, right? Pretty, aren't they? Very uh, ditzy, those. There you go. So this one, you get your butterflies, you get your blue, and you get your pink. There you go. 13 pounds and 49 pence, you get half a metre of the butterflies on green. You get half a metre of the Rose and Hubble blue and half a metre of the pink. That's cute, isn't it? It's a lovely sort of bright, fresh green, that one. It's a Wyndham fabric, that one. That's so lovely, isn't it? And look at the attention to detail on all the butterflies. That one's like a... Multicoloured butterfly, that one there. Where are you? Where are you? There, there, that's the equivalent of that one. And there's your big pink one. Gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. So I've got, oh, I can't reach that one. I've got, this is lovely. Look at this. This is a fabulous fabric, this one. So you get your half a metre of your birds on blue. 
You get your half a meter of your soft pink and a half a meter of your chartreuse. Oh, I can hear it in here. Their aircon's just kicked in in the, in the gallery and it's so noisy. That's lovely, isn't it, that one? That's, I love that fabric, that blue. Okay. Now, Yep. Simple pleasures, bicycles. Then obviously these are your Rose and Hubbles there. Half a meter, half a meter, half a meter. One and a half meters in total there for 13 pounds and 49 pence. What would you make out of, I'm seeing a wallet for some reason. Oh. Another bottle holder, says Hannah. She's going to be... Oh, to hold her water bottle, not as a gift bag, not wine. Or a cupcake. A cup cosy or a rug, mug rug. Okay. <laughs> do people still do that? So you make an elasticated bicycle cover seat. Make it, cover it in eau de coat, then when you stop at the cafe and it's going to rain, you put it over the seat of your bike. Oh, and over your basket, yeah. Because you leave your chihuahua in the basket, don't you? Oh, no, you've got, no, hang on, he's not a chihuahua. It's Dachshund, 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 yeah. Lovely. Oh, dear. Next one. Dark green on the top, so you've got, oh, this is nice. So you get your flowers, your green flowers. Then you get the lovely, is that pomegranate? I think that was pomegranate, isn't it? $14.99. Pomegranate, blush, fur, and then that beautiful floral print there. Yeah. I, I haven't got a name for that one, I'm afraid. It's called... Lovely. Roses on green. They're lovely. They work together so beautifully, those four, don't they? Fourteen ninety nine. You are getting two meters of fabric in there. Beautiful. Yeah. I've not seen these. I don't think before. These are designed by Christine Graff. Half a meter of each. Tropical ferns, these are called. Cardi B range, isn't she pregnant? Yeah. 13 pounds and 49 pence. These are Caribbean tropical ferns. Yeah, like a carnival headdress. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Or oh, I can see something of Delphine's in this. I'm, I don't mean Delphine's clothes, I mean Delphine's project. Phoenix, yeah, the rising from the ashes. Lovely. Well, it's nearly Friday, isn't it? Came in with a salad steak. She said, I'm being healthy for the weekend. We like it's the weekend tomorrow. I know. She said, oh, yeah. Yeah. 
These are pretty, aren't they? These are Liberty, Canopy. These are new. These are new. These are. These were both in the um, complimentary bundle, weren't they? These I seem to remember. Liberty. This one's called Fluttering Florals. And this one's called. Now on the picture on the web, this might, might look a little bit out of proportion. Just so you know. Daisy Dot, this one's called. Cute. Quite formal, I'd say those were, weren't they? Fluttering formal butterflies. Fourteen ninety eight for that metre of fabric. Liberté, brand new range, Carnaby. Okay. Yep. Purple and blue mixers here. Oh, there's only eight of these left already from pre-order. So you get blue and purple mixer bundle. These are all the splodge ones. So you get the sky blue. You get the rose de France. You get the... I can't think what that one is. And then you get the brighter blue one there. Denim, lilac, magenta and sky. Denim, lilac, magenta, sky. I'm trying to do a Haley, don't worry. I can't do it. There you go. There you go. Fourteen ninety nine. You get two meters of fabric in there. I've only got one. I've only got one left. Oh. Now remember, if you multi buy, if you do multi buy, they don't come joined together. So say you bought five. Right, you wouldn't get five, two and a half metres of each, you'll get five of those, five of those, five of those, and five of those, already cut. Just so you know, quite a few people have come in and multi-bought that one, that's right. Yeah, if you check your baskets, because you might have multi-bought back since some of you. Okay, last one now. This is it now. Marisol Mini, this one is called. So you get the flowers, then you get the pink and the purple. £12.49 for a metre and a half of Fabrico. Gillian, we'll just see if there's any left for you before I show it. Is there any of that one left, Hannah? Okay, let's do it. Beautiful. Check your baskets to make sure you haven't checked out more than you want. Right, Hannah. So we'll go back to this one now then. <laughs> She's actually in here. Go on then. Respect the fabric. That, don't what, keep that bag safe now. <laughs> well, I'll do this one first, Gillian. Then I'll do. Was it Gillian? Then I'll do yours. Liberté, Liberté, Liberté. Christmas silver and gold. Wiltshire shadow. Wiltshire Shadow in the silver, half a metre. Wiltshire Shadow in the gold, half a metre. £14.49. Lovely, isn't it? It's got a fab fabulous metallic to it. 
No, it's not that. Not like the olden days when the metallic comes off. This is actually a dye. So it's like, it could be red, it could be pink, it could be yellow, but this time it's silver and that time it's gold. <laughs> Loads of you coming in for this one. Beautiful. You don't have to use it for Christmas if you don't want to. It's lovely, isn't it? It's very luscious. And would you get, this one has a, a direction. Yeah. Well, it says on the thing that the top is here. Wouldn't matter. You could chop it whichever way you wanted to, I would imagine. Okay. And then uh, this one that Gillian wanted to see. I'll do that for you now, my love. Here we go. So you get the pale pink, you get the shutters, and you get the beautiful birds on blue on this one. That is such a lovely fabric, isn't it? Eleven ninety nine. Now, Gillian, if you do want that one, please be careful because an awful lot of people got that one in their baskets. And I'm, as I'm about to close uh, the show, people will start checking out now. Oh, right, lots of people on the phone line. Don't know, we don't know what you're phoning for, obviously, on the, on the phone line. Uh, is there anything else I need to recap? Okay, should we look at tomorrow's menu then? So tomorrow at 8 o'clock, I've got Fabulous Fabrics. That's me on my own. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got a traditional tote bag with Julie Kelly. <clears throat> then at 10 o'clock, Victoria Pete is in the building. She's come over from Gibraltar. She's going to be doing foundation paper piecing. Christmas cushions. They're like little elves as a boy and little girl. They are beautiful. Then at 11 o'clock, we're doing the sewing room wall hanging with Julie Kelly. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going to run to Yarn Lane, but I would have to run with a guest because it's just me on my own doing a kit roundup tomorrow and Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock. Now, don't forget, everybody who's bought something for me today, your name will be going into a hat. Uh, and then tomorrow at about uh, 12 o'clock, we'll announce the winner. Uh, this is today's prize. So one of you, I will be announced this time tomorrow, one of you will have won that, right? But I'll have another one tomorrow. I'll have another competition tomorrow. And it's a competition that I kind of like, quite like because all you have to do is buy something. You don't have to answer a question, don't have to put in a code or anything like that. Uh, that so that's today's, that's today's prize. And then we'll, we'll let you know what, to, well, actually we find out what tomorrow's is now because as we're packing up, Amy comes through with it to take a picture for tomorrow's slide. I know. Right, uh, is that everything? Keep checking out. We'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Don't be late. Thank you for your company. And I'll see you soon.